they do not like to play around. They did not update again. I'm gonna be forced on the eco here. Two rounds where they've done a nice job entering into the site, watching the proper angles, catching out the TSM players' swings, oh, but good. those late Justice rounds just not down. going their way. The 1v1, the 7-1, so. two versus three. They're making the right decisions, but if they can clean up those moments at the very oh, yeah. end, could certainly see great. them getting a number of rounds on this attack half. I'm slightly greedy there, especially after taking in their first. But a proto follows up pretty nicely. Still a, a trade off to be made from Sad. Not much to take away from that, though. Still down to that 3v4. Have made popped out trying to corner Zolstal. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, GMD having to make that reposition, trying to fight this off, especially and finding one as well. Beautiful shots, but still getting pretty heavy up there, especially with the smoke now placed. Yeah, reposition goes good. It doesn't even matter. Seven's just right behind that as well. Weapon here. A lot of swings from TSM there. They are really playing these situations aggressively, or if someone's taking a fight, they're just gonna send it. And in that situation, honestly, it felt like they were just a little too eager to close out the round. Perhaps took a little bit more damage than they should have. We'll see where their economy ends up here. It's not going to be the best. It, it really could have been in a better spot. Sim is going to take this opportunity to, to uh, buy up the operator. And we talked about that at the pre-show. One of the guys who's really buying that weapon frequently, finding a lot of value with it on defense. So we'll see what they're going to do with him here. Have him post up in mid. All right. Surprisingly huge amount of mid control. Flash, oh, they don't even see up top. They just let Zolstal make that space. A proto, of course, taken out, but Skarn finding Yo, a 3k on their own. GMD slowly working just themselves up. Sorry, just settling into the day right now still. I know for I'm dating this well. I know exactly Happens to make something not. happen too. Situation, of course. Still really, still fucking working on a lot of this, like, pain that I have sending from my hips. And, uh... Yeah, I, I feel really bad about being late, but also I'm just so tunnel visioned on this thing. And it's like my my brain has to, ooh. Ooh, that was fucking actually close. What the fuck? My brain needs to fucking do it. So I went for like a long walk. I was like in the gym this morning. I was stretching a lot. So, yeah. Sometimes I just like... Uh, I fuck up and lose track of time. Like just now I went for a walk outside actually. That's why I'm in a tank right now. It's pretty much the only time I'm in a tank. not expecting that at all. Sad, pretty heads up there. And you can see now TSM getting over eager in that weak. previous um, round. Dropping so many guns, investing the on the actually. last That's one. Economy I gotta make completely my pickles. crushed here. Sad with a chance to take the Old lead. Oh, Vipers over here. Oh, I don't even have an epic pin with them. I'm a noob. And we, will you go from such an aggressive you know, initial start towards mid to something potentially slower. Oh, and that's beautiful. They actually baited out this team uh, to their own demise alias. as well. So GMD down. Now Sim, the only one with a Vandal in hand, to try to keep this round together. TSM are really trying to force things here now off the show. Fun as all to say. Those defensive I wish I was casting that alias. Ooh, what if it, what if it just, what if he ate it? For free. We'll see where they plant the spike Not here. Yeah, Zoe, but I'm trying to get in the corner, slightly delayed by the nade. That's gonna give TSM some time to rotate. That Maybe Zoe go for a fast there instead of like the left corner. Huge I wonder if there's like a strategic decision for it. That's what I was thinking about. Is it a cancel? Is it a cancel? Just reposition no, themselves. Also no, no, waiting for the push to come down towards backside to fight this one out. But as well as something happening what, up towards heaven, Cobra finding the space and getting taken Tons of information just thrive. Oh they my god. The site under lockdown, but it's up to Zolstal 2v2 this situation. Judge, bro. Oh. Just a judge in hand. And even then a cross will being held just within garage. Oh. Not enough time to try to pull together some sort of strategy. I think instead of that player swinging right there, like this player swinging here, I think that was a proto. I think Poi should have just jumped at that player with the judge and basically made this player hit a shot. And then that player should have swung on on the player in main and just prayed that poise killed that guy backside. I feel like that was the only way that they could have won that that clutch. You know, that's the only way because there's no way if like this guy. This is just such a hard scenario. This guy's gonna die. This guy will die on that swing 100. percent So, but that's that's so situational. It's very hard decision. Like they're gonna go for a full A push off just, of them. You know, just be being. Be, me being me. And this is nice too because they're still trying to catch rotation out of B you know. site. While this is all happening, seven though having Cam 
available to try to watch if anybody tries to walk out of that wall space. So more of a retake scenario here. Um, down on eight, leaving poised by themselves. Haven't gotten to talk about it yet, but this is sad to not pick. Honestly, off, missed, missed the that seven the given them in the pick band, so... Just settling in still, and yeah, Miracle. Beautiful Seekers to start. That gives yeah. away a pretty Double solid information. Inside. Seven. Those are pretty scary. As well as poise being given away. Without, with a flash, too, to like really like make them find some sort of entry in, but of a little sketched out, a little bit sloppy on the entry. Man, they're so cautious, though. No one hits a trip. Well played. Holy fuck. They're still up to that four to three side. That was such a good entrance into the site. Keep themselves up above the lead. I mean, if it can happen. Bob, one flash to play with. It's way harder to do that. It's sad crossfires now. Yeah, still the paint shell set down to try to back these players off. But there's not a lot of zoning going on. Sim's still left up in heaven. And information not given away. Nobody knows. Dark is now, of course, understanding that there the might be somebody just on top of Scar picking off the fights. Yo, 41 up, health Sonia? left on seven. And Scar not that much to play I think with. I saw either, you in someone else's shoes. It still happens shoes. in regards to TSM. Or Beautiful four it. to four. Seven you again, just keeping them in this game. Oh, Two one v ones that he's had to step New up. New cam angle. Yeah. I'm just Wins sitting for a second right now, really just because I, I so went for a well walk season. outside Sad, they, right before I should be doing a great I'm job of getting into the sights. TSM's I aggressive swings are just getting shut on, like, down a every my house. single round. It's a really nice day outside, and rounds, quite frankly, I don't get enough sun. I mean, Sad are just struggling to close these out, but despite that, keeping things even on split attack, 4-4. Four, four, not so bad. So How's my audio stream audio everything right now at this level, Chess? Yeah, he's had so, so much, right now, Seven has had like so much impact just playing off the U-Till alone. Um, and it's been pushing Sad back Yo, pretty thanks heavily. For the, there all the partner shit, guys. That I, can say that I actually didn't be, even know that. That's crazy. So, you know, the Saudi does that mean I became a partner on this date? Like this this day? Or whatever year that was? Game audio is a lot louder than me. Really at 53. Okay, that's good to know. Wow. Changes every day. Don't know how. Two years ago on this very date. Well, it wasn't two years ago. It would have been like centuries ago. Low round here. Just close things out with superior guns. <laughs> okay, that you're fucked. Way, point, Don't I throw have, out I a fucking believable so. number that didn't, that's not possible. Peaks, <laughs> run into some of those close range guns or a sheriff on the angle and just drop players kind of needlessly. Yeah. I, I hope to see them play a pretty... I Honestly, still remember just, getting yeah, that partner button. Kind of I still here. remember how excited Close I was. With the advantage. I think it was uh, complexity. Because that's when the orgs were all like... Ooh, that was such a good star. entry! Good job by a fucking... Who is that? A proto. What are they doing? Sure Get the fuck out of there. Jesus Christ, what are they doing? Still up to Sad. There's so much space just taken up down in mid. Pretty good information for the sad side. Given I lost my train of thought because of that. There. there was the smoke down A. They're definitely feeling the presence. And I'll yeah, like back then Twitch was like sponsoring all the orgs. So. Dog to oh, re that's slimy, bro. But always just pushing through the negative that's info from the so dog. Slimy. Allowed Darkest to set up on the line. Opening he finds like a little cringe-ass corner to close this before one out. Now their he's visible from side. That's like a CS style, bro. Made the move to give away their position. Actually, keeping two players down on the Ramp's A side. This is feels a lot of pressure because so in a two-player setup, like you can't really hold Vents and Ramp. Just needing to find themselves up towards B. But we talked about seven, and of course that trip that's been a problem so far. And look at how spread now TSM are on the map. I'm doing link for sad though. Thirty, 30 seconds. seconds. Left. They left two players in B main. They're gonna go for a split here. It looks like. Darkest is all you're Unless, going. I mean, they're almost debating. Do we go back to A? Time is so low though. That That's is the main is, worry. Does this have actually G have G uh, GMD, implications me, for challengers? I'm not. When the paranoia is still that. there. Even then, 13 seconds left. They need to use one set of their util to keep this team back. Yep, seeding. already set and done. They found the other and the Viper as well, but Darkest enough time to get the plant down. And honestly, their own territory as well. So even though it's a 2v3, it still might work for the best for Sad. Massive gun advantage. Looks like in both. For TSM. Still not able to recover a rifle. Does at least pick up the They're both going to... Everyone today is going to make playoffs. Within looks the like. Viper's pit. 
so but have the seeding can be up. altered with wins and losses. Oh, and they found it. They knew that there was not a wall there. <laughs> Sim doesn't even need sight to see. They just use a, a, a pretty this. huge sort of game sense. They're leading TSM to that first hand lead. So five to four. A big difference now. Sad having to bring themselves back up. Well done closing that out from TSM. Yeah, I want to see Skarn in some like really good form into the playoffs. I mean, Sim 2, bo I think both of these raises actually have potential to like make a serious like dark horse run for their teams in playoffs. Like these teams can both make runs in playoffs in my eyes. They have really, really good players, but very inconsistent teams. So high ceilings. Ultimates Potential. in play and sim with that showstopper online. I feel like that's the case for a lot of challenges, teams. So, it's like, what version are we, of them are we yeah, going to get on today? The smoke up, huge lack of information. Some days, some of the challenger teams look fucking insane. Proto not actually listening into those jiggle peaks as well. So, and then those same teams no, will like literally side, shut the bed. Huge which is work weird. up from Coburg here. It's usually not like the big three. Weary of any TSM but. players peeking on the A side or perhaps jump spotting from elbow or screens is Coburg. Yeah, there are two stages to this event. So this is around this point. I should have actually set the fucking precedent Deep here for this game. So this is the last game Coburg. of the important first fight. That's a really big fight. Bad timing on the now, and Coburg, sight here. The yeah. Good, good job taking well. the space. The the they They're ready to main. pounce they on B. So he's putting so much pressure here. They've left everybody else to just move while Seven yeah. holds the site on their own. The but even then gets taken out the trips. Not no. of too much importance. So that leads to a huge rotation that gets shot out. Even then Coburg left alone. But that, that leads to a huge flank that could I mean, B, honestly, big potential there. So they'll reposition themselves to find better ground. Proto's gun getting found out right before the peak. And this leads to better circumstances. Unfortunately, not for TSM. Poised, backing themselves off, leaving the Phantom in their hand. Uh, unfortunately, economy not looking too good. I hope I hope so he has some accountability. You know? I actually think Sean's a great player, but I, on eight I would like to see some in the meantime, accountability. Seven felt like he had to make a play and actually himself, anchor you know, like, in B. He well, it might be true, but yeah, his teammates had initially missed some retreating when that hit was coming true. out of main. And TSM just no one really playing together there, and it's gonna be oh, like that demise. was. But Dude, credit really goes to the I feel like of the round there was no Cobra. chance for Finding boys to kill him. Got his ultimate online, pops it, gets all the info for his team, and so I take full advantage. So of yeah, that. this is the last game, guys, before midseason cup. Wasn't it mid-season invitational before? That's very confusing. They went from like forth. MSI to MSC, but uh, whatever. Honestly, just finding themselves uh, you can see both these teams are are locked in. Retake, Everyone but time, one TSM team have been goes into relegation. And since these teams have zero wins, it's like they're not going to leapfrog up for and, and do pass about it. So it's like just interested can't to see how we continue things along, especially with three players already surrounding themselves down And you can see there's going to be teams that get buys, right? Lurk it looks like over in the top a main and towards four ramp. teams will get buys. You have that viper, and, and then yeah, the other Bob, eight the this will be here. To B main, so some good early so map control. Total, Can't right? spot it out as well. Dark is gonna break that, nullify yeah, some of the info gain for TSM. Oh, that's a lower bracket. What the fuck? I uh, confused the fuck out of me seeing a lower bracket. Right there. So beautiful. Showstopper. T TSM already on to a good start. They take out that main controller. Wait, four. Now leaving so it up four, to six uh, you know, a lot of that work. Does that make any sense? So blocked off immediately in 54 seconds left. Team start in the, he must start in the lower bracket. TSM, you can see GMD and Poise got to the Four teams start right in the lower bracket. Like, all right, we made that pressure. Oh. We found that pick. Sad are probably just going to try to push up and take A now. That's so what's going on that, here. That so this game case. actually is very fucking important. Oh, shit. Because here's, here's how this bracket's going to work. There's four teams that are going to be up here. But then there has to be four teams that are thrown down here. But then there's two teams that get like gigabytes. So two teams are like giga rewarded. Four teams are in the first round and have to play an extra match. And then four teams are kind of just straight fucked. So like what's that makes 10 teams total. Does that add up? Yes, that adds up. Oh, that's that's interesting. 
Whoops, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that paranoia I missed the trash can. Further delay, blind them up. They know they have to deal with blind them up. Yep, Wyatt, you know me. Blind them up. She's just going to be bothersome, just going to survive. Yeah. And TSM, check the state of the economy. Multiple players on zero dollars. They have to save these guns at this point. And sad, know it. They're going to hit the gas on them, try to take them away, and have a full anti eco there for this final no round. Lowers. Oh, They're chasing them down. So yeah, this I did. Beautiful. Okay, so I was that right the first time. Right? Mouse, right? Proto I was runs away with one regardless. Oh, Lead be given back over to Sad. So then, where do the extra teams uh, again, come? Again, a nice approach to. Where do the two extra yeah, teams really come from? That's why I was confused. Okay, so I was wrong just now, because this is all the upper bracket. So relegation. That's so weird. A promotion relegation team can come into the midseason cup and win it? What? The Bob Raider? The Bob Raider is so perfect. Because there's obviously, if this is all upper bracket, then there's four teams that get a buy, which means that there's going to be four teams that get, like, beneficial treatment and then there's so let's say like the top two from here these six teams are all going to be playing in that first match and then there's going to be two promotion relegation teams also play, playing in that first match I just think that's so weird making an assumption here from TSM that they can wrap this around find some sort of set play but Coburg still stuck down in mid of course GMD finding an engagement off that alone. Now, of course, leading this up to right that here. 4v4 is a potential there. May 6, 7. Yeah, Coburg dealing with that push down in mid, telling the rest of the team, like, all right, it's time to go be off that, and they do. Look at this aggressive And this comes from Premier, right? And Premier so and relega Paranoia the relegated well. teams. Not able to find the timing for the kill. These are is that right? Some good post-plant setups, though, Bob, with the re-wrap. Wow, again, good. perfect timing. Or not yet. Perfect timing and beautiful read, to be completely honest with you. Sad Esports, knowing this okay. team was pushing for that rotation at like, I could literally be in the midseason cup. You guys, I could win the midseason cup. You guys realize that, right? Like, that's what you're telling me right now. Since I'm in the top level of Premier. So I could qualify to playoffs. I, I could technically win the midseason cup from this moment in time. I wouldn't have enough points, but isn't the midseason cup just the tournament itself? The midseason cup doesn't have to do with points. It's just I would have to win Premier, qualify into here, win this, qualify into this, win this, and then I would be, just win. I would just win the midseason cup. I would get six points. I don't have enough points to win Premier. Uh,. Isn't it playoffs? I think it's just playoffs. I, even though we forfeited a lot of matches, if we win out, we would make playoffs, I think, or some shit. Oh, I see. So, like, dude, that is such a weird format then. So, like, you don't pl actually play in an open bracket competition by any means. You're, like, judged by some weird tiebreaker rules that, quite frankly, don't make any sense done but poise can't really punish I got the molly down in time lost in the but sauce with poise getting that information seeing the push it's going to trigger the get this written down somewhere a lot of pressure on Coburg. sitting down in the back of sight and the one way is not necessarily doing too much work now especially with poise time, and Coburg, but huge on like, to find swing. the wow. first initial shot but it's up to Coburg now and we see what if i watch Coburg, dude pistol. he's so White so sick stoppable i can't headshot oh after my headshot just continuing my Can't god like you cannot give this ghost is a ghost. laser <laughs> that is outrageous tsm double peek him and he gets both picks that's both pistol rounds now i think he has a combined seven kills for both of them spike down tsm should have
absolutely have that round locked <laughs> Right, giving the DMV a run for its money. Well. Holy shit, bro. Wow, stepping up massively. The rest of the sad yeah. players flooding in you as well. Wait in right line time. to get your ticket. It's like now it's some pretty serving. serious trouble here. D Sim is gonna buy for the sheriff. Try and get an entry pick off that. And you're like H seven. You're like, bro. I'm never they gonna get like, what's happening. Also, oh, they saw the leg. They know Sim is there. Is that enough information? Of course, they did try to follow up just a bit in mid, but didn't find as much either. Now that is a cheeky smoke. So really Don't see that here. too often. It just you know, had that little gap in the lower left to see if someone crossed. Pretty, pretty neat. Not a smoke that you typically deal with there. Damn, dude, this would be a good win for Sad right here. Now, but still keeping some space in mid. They're watching this. Like looking at that bracket. You know, at any point in time, it could happen. Of course, smoke being set down. Darkest knows they up? might be attempting the push. So then there Dude, goes this is a fucking colossal game. Who's He's gonna place that down whenever. Ultra plays M80. Oh, bro, this is a big one actually. Because still sitting down in mid. Sad or TSM could Strong still get a buy here. There in heaven with darkest swinging off of the Ooh. rafters. Just this game does have some implications actually. Bait. It's actually a pretty important game. Away from Scarn. They're both chilling Lines at 2-2. Two, two. No, Sad didn't come in qualifiers. They came from Shotgun Garrison Invitational. It was such a prestigious event. Sad they gave him a direct babies. seat in the challenges. Run and gun is the name of the Just because I told them they looked good in my tournament. <laughs> yeah, already scarred. I was like, yeah, they're, they're good time. enough. Put them in. Right, but Sad Esports looking so pretty solid the first two rounds. Of course, now kind of an uneven buy. Uh, you know, within the first... Uh, within the second round, so picking themselves back up is TSM. I like it. I think definitely Coburg making a TSM dent looks underwhelming into this the year, damage of TSM. Dude, Absolutely. I mean, We're I was starting to earlier, say something along those lines uh, earlier, but I what I was gonna say was like, man, I've I've been disappointed with them, but maybe I maybe it's in an unfair way. Maybe I haven't given them them given them enough time. Um, maybe I haven't given them enough time because it is a brand new team and they've kind of been thrown into it a little bit here. But I, ha I, I'm not going to lie. Coming into Challengers, I looked at this lineup and I was like, this lineup is fucking sick. This lineup is really sick. And um, they might be able to challenge, you know, like the, the S tier Challenger teams that I always talk about noise and b main and now they're gonna try to all gather up a but seven never pushed up so they don't really have any space here they don't have the info and they're gonna be walking into a little bit of a stack here three players for sad great timing Already on that Scar blind first, holy and shit shall lay down to try to push this team back but is it enough Scar though still watching and it doesn't matter TSM, TSM, they've taken in they need the majority of the players here 3v3 scenario and of course vandal still left in hand Cobra that was a connection more with the ghost oh kind of like no 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 into the hands of sad esports and it's surprising you have a save ramp initially and now they just pull together anything they can watching across oh, playing off contact Bob got out and has heal. but even then, could go heal the viper hand. what's the player though no time don't do that yeah Oh. <laughs> Darkest finds a good time well before played. that smoke was fully bloomed. Oh, shit. Finish things off with the ghost over. again. This team, they just have the ghost demons, evidently. But sad with a good defensive setup on A, really the crux of TSM's issues there, coming from the fact that they made all of that presence on B early on so much yeah. noise. But they didn't actually I mean, take any space on A at the same time. I'll tell you why I was pretty high on TSM as a team. Um, it's just... It's more like why team or like how teams are built. And um, do I know TSM's coach? No, I don't, I don't actually know that person. No, faded. I don't know that person. I'm not even sure. I, I, I just don't know them. I'm sure they know a lot about the game to coach these players though. But I, I look at their team and I'm like, okay, they got a really good leader. They got that. That's a hard piece to get. They got a really good support player, like controller type player that has CS fundamentals and could mid-round 
and like secondary IGL, probably active in strat designing. That's super important. They have like an anchor style player that has really good mechanics and aim. That's that's a pretty important player. And then they have very young players that can fit into like aggressive roles and they can mold them. Like this team is just built really well. You know, like they're just built well. They're built exactly how I would want to build a team. I'm not gonna lie. Like they they might not have the exact players, but like they got the formula. You know, like they've got a good formula right there. And because they had that formula, I just was like, they I have high expectations. Because my barometer in my brain, when I think of a good team in challengers, I'm, the first thing I ask myself is, do I, think can, do I think this team can beat Oxygen? That's my first thing I actually say in my head when I think about these challenger teams. And if you can't beat Oxygen, even on your best day in my head, then I take you out of the S tier. And then I'm like, because the S tier is the teams that I think could be Oxygen on a good day. And the only teams right now that have proven that to me are us and potentially M80. So like I have OXG, MXS, and M80 at the top of challengers right now in my head. And then I haven't seen that out of TSM or SAD. So they're in whatever tier that is below. Three versus four right now. Of course, the gun's still in the favor. I'm not of saying Sam, they don't have the potential though. Making but like mistake. when I saw TSM's lineup, I was like, okay, this team has the potential to do it. Like with these players and like in these roles, they could design, you know, like the right strats with the right comps and the right skilled players are like spearheading hits. They could do it. They could be one of the S tier teams. And that's how I think about it, truthfully. This plant from happening. Of course, Trail Blazer comes out and it leaves some information for Coburg and Bob to play with, but still though potential there. A proto does not get One the shot. HP. But in yeah, order to get in, why is OXG the barometer? What a great job. Because the skill on OXG is so immense that they don't get upset. They never get upset in games. They that's what I've come to realize. So I've like after watching them all throughout the off season, all throughout everything else, I know they can be beat. I'm not saying they can't get, be beat. But, like, shit teams will never, ever beat them. Like, fucking ever. Like, they'll never beat them. So, just because, like, they have such young, high, mechanically skilled players. And they have, like, the discipline of a good IGL and coach. So, it's they just don't really have very many, like, super off days as a team. It's very hard to catch them on, like, a team off day. So, like, you might catch one of them having an off day or two of them having an off day. But I've seen games where Oxygen has, like, three players having an off day and they still beat a shit team, you know? They're just super consistent when it comes to beating bad teams down. They don't drop maps to bad teams. Um, so, it's safe to put them as, like, the S-tier barometer in my head. Like, I don't think that they're unbeatable. I don't think that, like, they're the best players in the world. But I think like they will body the fuck out of an average challenger team. Like that's that's where oh, I think this is huge. put oxygen. Bob does a wraparound. Actually, a proto doesn't know what's oh happening, God. but they still manage to pick things up. And now the seekers just to push out as well. One. Only one player on the side of TSM just left down alone on the A site. Now, especially with Bob trying to find poise. One enemy I mean, this might oh, be a fight. That's one out there. Spike just this is just kind of we're just kind of waiting for this map to end here. Yeah, Bob is with a huge incredible. struggle from TSM. Dude, she's been like, skill on display it's crazy. Like, season. every time I watch that, for ten right now. Bob, whether like she's on like Sova Sky, like making super impactful plays on initiators. Like, I don't. I don't have a comparison off the top of my head. You guys have like a comparison for initiators that are like that aggressive? Look at the initiator dip, bro. Look at the sky dip. Holy fuck. That is a colossal sky dip. You're right. I could have clicked M. Not here to play, and this might be perfect. So many players, but they can't see. Oh fuck! Even then, they push themselves around and try to fight the backhand oh, side, but it's not the, the ball strat. now. Especially as they surround themselves up in heaven, so still finding one of their own, and it's sad esports that might just be able to close things out in a beautiful 13-5 fashion. 
GMD not willing to give up Ooh. just yet and still not able Moving to find the last in stock to close things out. Negated. The huge 13-5 win coming through from the side of Sad Esports. I like the glasses. That was so well played from Sad. They really capitalized on every mistake that TSM were making. Their fundamental... TSM do play individually. Um, yeah. It's hard to... It's so hard to judge these teams, you know, like... I, I'm i conflicted, like, when, when it comes to, to judging and shit like that. Um, like, some of these teams. Like, I judge Leviathan, and I'm not going to say I think that they're not still some questionable things with that team. But a lot of their problems could be band-aided with a player like Ospos. And I didn't think it was possible to be on to be honest to like beat sentinels i thought like even if they played their absolute best game they would lose to sen in like three maps but just because they got that win and the way they did it on lotus like showing me they could run those defaults and shit like that that was very impressive so you know like it's hard to judge teams early they can improve so fast I take brimstone for the muscles it's gotta oh. like He'll take over. You'll build us a shelter and all that, and then Sage for the healing, just in case anything goes wrong. Like I don't know, maybe you get in a fight with an animal. I'll take Sage. Sage and Brimstone. Why not? Sage, in case I get injured, and I feel like Brim would be like a handy man. I don't know. Oh wait, no. Oh, all right, can I take my answer back? Bruh. Maybe like Jet and Brimstone, because I feel like Brimstone could cook it up, and I feel like you know. Damn. Jet maybe can just like updraft and carry us like you know away to safety. I'd say Omen, you know, just TP off the island. Just get off the island. Uh, <laughs> didn't even think about that for a second. Yeah. See, that's a good pick. That's a good. Don't lie. That's a good pick. Sage, and then. Wait, he's stuck in an killjoy. Wait, he's stuck in an killjoy, island. She can be like, Sage? if we wanted to get off the island, make a little TV, television, antenna, radio, we out. Like that's it. That's wraps. I need someone to protect Those are her. terrible choices. I do a gym a bit more. So let's bring Breach. And the last one. I need Jet so she can fly and like find something for me. She didn't I watch, yeah, I watch some of them. Not anymore. But watch some of the Yeah, it's still, yeah. And, uh, you didn't know Stella was on Turtle Street. Find something for me. He's only yeah, I'm going to say Jet and Breach. Big protector and, a, and a, a, a scouter. I know Mark, Scout. right? Or her like info and like gathering. Uh... This guy's like trying to live in the metaverse. The like he's um, not trying to get off the he's island. Like, he's trying to live in a killjoy. Like, deadlock like, for like shelter. Fucking AI uh, game, yeah. Sound sensor for protection. You like the, you like the overlay? I'm probably gonna pick Sky because Sky has the heal. My oh, man, I love Adder. Adder. With, we love Adder in this stream. This is an Adder enjoyer stream. Second one. What's on probably Yoru. I don't know why. Yoru's Japanese. I'm Japanese. Who's been up in there? Might have a conversation with him. Like to see his abilities. I, I didn't know that it was Japanese. Probably those two. Sage, because you know I got to take some risk, and who's better to heal me up, give me a good res, if I go down, you know. And then um, the second agent is Omen, because like just TP me out of there, bro. Use your ult. Why is that your second choice, bro? Why is it your second choice to TP off the island? I, I I'm actually questioning that. I'm at, I'm at, like he thought the, he was so close. He was so close. <laughs> it's like getting the neural theft, seeing the A stack and being like, we got to go A actually. They're, gonna, they're all going to rotate B. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? Who is Omen going to kill to get those ult orbs? Fuck him. <laughs> Top three EMEA teams. And, oh yeah, to answer guys' question, I was kind of watching a little bit of EMEA earlier, yeah. I stopped watching the like... Ooh, wow. I actually stopped watching here. 
I, when I saw 10, I, I stopped watching on split. So I would have, if I would have like keep kept watching, I would have been like hooked for the rest of the game because the second round win. Kind of glad I didn't. It's like, oh, it's over. I think there was like some rounds in here that Navi definitely should not have won if I remember correctly. But then Nary had like a one on five. Do you guys see this one on five? This shit was crazy. Hold up, let me pull it up. <laughs> the only good thing I can tell you is a fucking NA player that went to EMEA. <laughs> Got an insane clip. He was pretty quiet before that one on five, that's for sure. Wow. But man, that one on five was crazy. I think I got. It. This round was fucking sick. Lies down this time. Round 12, it's seven to games. four. Still can be a good half for Navi, but they've got to do it here. And there's weaknesses: a bulldog and a guardian. And guardian. He did not do the guardian. Definitely not the greatest weaponry, but definitely workable. Again, just look at the pace, though. KC switching it up. I actually didn't catch the full round Nancy's last time. Positioning could be perfect. He's waited, but actually, oh, Xiao just dude. gets the perfect timing. Shin goes and grabs him. What are these guys this... doing, bro? What the fuck? So he wins this round, chat. This is this is the round he wins. That's fucking crazy, bro. There's like no it's not like one of those like instant double trade type moments. Very quickly has divulged into madness. So many individual fights being taken, and all of them being. He's just even collecting his shit. He's right not even like you know that you don't want to get taking it for granted oh the these team. these three are throwing those those three kind of threw but maybe this angel shouldn't have got more. that you tell if they're gonna to do that final shots and they just weren't on the same page everything to miss from the side of navi you said he'd been a little quiet so far but you can see that navi are giving him the respect he deserves at this clean, stage sitting back with him oh, he's no, found his fourth of the round it's the last one know the child's there but he's able to reposition for a one versus one technically perfect setups to an ace that that we've is seen. such a fucking annoying ass plan. He could be spawn. He, he could wrap Ruka. One more still he could fight. wrap elbow. He could be sight. Position should be perfect. He could be here. Even if he doesn't get checked, and actually when that spike this is gets capped, Rash might be able to path up very close before it's. He thinks he's gonna jump he's out, so he like preemptively very just dives it immediately. It's actually a fucking good play. I'm not gonna lie. On, right thought he heard him drop down. But it was a Here's fake a moving site. Before the tap even happens. This is something that takes some experience, right? Because a lot of people in ranks would probably give him shit. Like, hypothetically, if, say, like, this this player, like, came out of hookah and made that running sound this way, but then, like, came back and peeked him and killed him, people would give him shit. Like, bro, why are you peeking without even tapping the spike? Why are you doing that? Like, but he knows that, like, the tap is coming and that this tap needs to happen to draw him out. Um, especially given the fact that the pressure of his spot, like he's taking all of this into account and he immediately is like walking up when the footsteps go by, catches great timing and he goes top sight, which is again, like it's one of those very bold. Honestly, this is a very bold choice, but I like it. Especially with him being a fucking aimer. He's kind of going to get a headshot fight potentially with low HP. The ace just and it's also like, you can see where Xiao is. The second thing is like, on this plant, Xiao would probably do this swing. Because he can simultaneously clear under tube and this way at the same time. And he knew this player was octagon. So he knew that Neri could have walked up. So like this is actually the optimal play. Unless he's just going to off angle like out on the right. So such a nice clutch, dude.
That was such an amazing clutch. Because they have the tendency to do so. And then uh, let's back off after that and go down towards the B site to fight this Cypher. And it, it was reads like those that, you know, they didn't have to play aggressive. They knew exactly how this team didn't was going to play. Like, and that's no why they reaction. chose split. When you're playing that mirror composition as well, you know how it does playing a defense with the cipher. I thought I remember watching and like the assistant coach was like pogging the fuck right out, and Aang was just like, "Why Sad was just so good he was just at like, his attacking side, being so patient and." And then he yeah, just sticks out his hand out to the assistant coach. He's just like, like they here, bro. Accept what, for what let out, let out some of that emotion. That the first like, Aang is so fucking hilariously and cold. Those that were trying to keep the, the he just has the zero half, emotion. Also, something that really caught my attention was we didn't even see a, a timeout take place for TSM <laughs> until it was 5.10. So, to me, it seems <laughs> like that just gives me an indication that there might have been an idea. The right <laughs> that is not even it, possible. And, and That's it's not even possible. Then, it seems like it was kind of getting away from them and, and ended up happening. He just, like, he's just yeah, literally absolutely. saw the craziest yeah. thing of his Heading life, this, bro. This next map that's coming up. I, I think, bro, Aang uh, must have seen some know, shit I'd growing like up see, or something. Like, one of the things how is he not excited? Them, like, how, we, not just did they lose how does round, he have no reaction? Loves to run the what is lot. that? There was only one moment that they picked it up onto Sim. And they immediately went for a, like a Bro, push that's down insane. mid with the op, which that's was insane. I, I think a little questionable to do that the first round. You bring it <laughs> out because the uh, I feel like Ang has seen some shit in sad. his life to be like Even that person. Regardless. Like you could just use it to pick up. An enemy. Bro, that's like that's like Gemma, my second, whose birthday unironically was yesterday. Uh, we actually went to Heidi Lao for dinner. And for those of you that went, have ever been there, we did like the dancing noodle thing where they like cut the noodle and they like fucking throw it around and shit. And they do this thing where they're like whipping it around. They whip it to your face and like it, it comes really close to your face, like on the, cause the noodles just constantly stretching. It's before it's been cooked. Um, and bro, like I jumped, like I jumped back. Cause it was just like, what the fuck is bro? Get that shit out of my face. Like almost hit me. Gemma. I swear, since she broke her leg as, like, like, a child, she is so cold. That thing literally came, like, right in her face, and she did nothing. And so the guy was confused. And so I saw it. He did it again and got closer. And Gemma didn't flinch the second time. I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, can she not react in time? Like, is she too young to react? Like, bro, What? For Sim and playing with this standard composition, I uh, think it, it really honestly helps. kind of fucked me. I was like, so when you blew my mind. At sad, they have like, not dude, played this map of Breeze in the it. whole of the split one and all the four or five weeks now that they played. It was always yeah. their second ban, so it, it, they were open to playing. Reminded me of uh, it this. For his choice. So this now is you do this is the hardest fucking clip I've ever seen. This is the hardest thing I've ever seen. Never seen what we've seen from anything. Maybe the I don't know why this video is three minutes. Uh, it's kind of sketching me out. It. it was that jet. It was a, that standard composition sure, that you would expect. And Bree, so let's jump yeah, into the agents. Right. So like, let's figure it out. Let's see if things are gonna so look the same. They're beefing a little bit. All right. For sad, or it might be something new, something different, so as we've seen. And guess what? All right, it Kobe is actually beefing. different. It is. <laughs> TSM bringing the Yoru and the Jet double so duelist. Double and then this is what we've seen recently. Some team anyway? feeling more and more comfortable playing with this double duelist with this Yoru. And now even a proto on the Astra. Where's Might be the first time that I see a proto on the Astra. So there's a lot to break down. There's a lot. Oh, he does that shit too. There's a big chance for us to take a seat. There's like all in Kobe's face. And then check this out, bro. Watch this. So they're just fucking with each other for like minutes on end. And he ball checks Kobe to the face and he doesn't flinch. Like, dude, watch the replay. Bro, that is insane to not flinch there. That's a grown ass man. That's insane to just be sitting there like that. That's like the coldest thing I think I've ever seen a grown man. Do. Um, like i don't know how that's possible actually i actually don't know how that's possible i've never seen the backstory of the clip it's like i've actually never seen the backstory of that clip before that moment but that's insane like those guys are fucking giants out there like 
deep in the six feet. These guys are scary as fuck, bro. Some grown-ass man literally beefing with you like that and then ball flinching you oh shit to have it how do you not flinch? within them to make sure to cover their flanks effectively beyond all these angles because it's pretty in front of his face bro really the way he's the moving map, back and forth like cockily even more he, he's yeah it is like surprising he's to have expecting that, that shit I think the whole he's like encouraging it leave that firepower down seven already Gaining a lot of ground initially off this attacking half. Oh my god, the Yoru TP into the trip. That's crazy. I feel like it's every pistol round that we see Cover just pull no through with like that at first hand engagement. They cooked on the strat too. Yeah, Yoru absolutely. fucking came up, opens the door, and TPs into a trip. Through doors in mid. What? We take wall. Cover again. They still Trace. somehow actually didn't catch that. So GMD's free to roam down in mid as much as they please. Of course, Coburg is down, so there's no U till left down in the middle of sight. So the pistol around looking for more in favor of DSM around. here now, especially with GMD finding shots very heavily based. I have so many NBA memes. Still. You would think I'm a huge NBA North. fanatic. Yeah, Ooh. making its way. Headshots hit, but it doesn't matter. I really don't watch that coming through NBA from TSM. That that Astro Utility so obnoxious when trying to get onto the spike, of course, but it's GMD, the man who's been a star for this CSM squad four weeks straight. Just finds the perfect timing on that mid lurk through doors, able to evade Sad. Kind of trying to re-clear, thinking that flank could be there, but didn't get their eyes on him. Yeah. Uh, but really, though, the silliest moment was Seven straight up just TP'd into a trip and died, which is <laughs> so unlucky. He was just, yeah, pushed up all the way through halls, wanted to make all that noise, draw attention, TP to the site, <laughs> and then just immediately threw his life away. He so, shot Seven in the back. A little unlucky. Leave that back. They're running the Genji comp, by the way. Nah, it was a part of the plan. They still won that. It's okay. Seven. Cutting through. Actually getting a... The first opening pick over towards A by Cole, not going to be set up. They know it's clear. They I mean, the only thing really holding yeah, back is Darkest, Darkest but still not knowing. Time to yeah, they got that one kill onto a proto, but he just carried over the ghost from the pistol round while everyone else was going to buy up, so not actually really recovering a weapon. I mean, I guess Coburg upgraded from the classic to a ghost, which for him is essentially a vandal, but... Remaining gonna be good dealt with from here. gmd already really good two start. rounds in a row finding some big impact here bob having the sheriff means definitely no full shields next round unless sacrificing with like a guardian or some shit left alone down in mid of course oh. what i mean nice shots through bugs seven is not having a good time on the yoru so far already uh, two incidents is happening but still dsm running away with the two and out very small amount of damage done, but I think the one thing that I do kind of want to point attention crazy, to there yeah. from Sad, of course, that's a really you cool, know, maybe going cool for a little thing. bit more aggression Two because people they in, like are the top the of their fields that like put their entire lives into like being good at a game, you know? Obviously, like I can pseudo relate with Counter Strike, obviously, not to the extent that those guys, those guys have a totally different mentality and mindset than me um, but you know, starting to hover just above to gain some high ground nice positioning from scar just to start off the round I, not something you would I actually think, I think even before uh off by that. Now like kobe's well. unfortunate death that. obviously like i thought very highly of him i know like when he came into just the nba i was, was a very big slow. nba fan back then he was very like thorny no, and obviously really had that only. fucking whole allegation against him and i honestly don't really know the details of the story because i was just a kid back then but and i honestly didn't really care much about all that shit. but it seemed like in the later stages of his life he was a very different person than who he was as a kid coming into the nba like he did a lot of maturing i thought and he had that crazy fucking killer mentality of a uh, ridiculous competitor. So I always respected him for that. Seemed like a good family man by the end of his life. You know? both angles. Of course, seeing the fake behind wow. that. And still looking for more. Sad esports finding themselves. Everybody on the side of TSM. Now leaving it up to Sim to try to find a shot of their own, especially with the outlaw. Of course, they could do as much work and effort as they want, but still picking off some of that damage off Bob. 13 seconds left. And a dream. 10 seconds left. 
Did nice you people. I got my Valorant Champion yeah, jersey on, dude. So difficult. My oversized giga large jersey. Each other's backs. You can see a fake TP came in on that hit from seven oh, early on to try I, I love these challenges. He might have gotten deep into the site, but Coburg was able to. Sometimes I'm like, bro, I kind of so want to watch like one of these other big regions too. for the main DCT. Uh, I feel, the ooh, they got the Yoru. Ooh, that's the counter Yoru tech, guys. Well Yoru out. TPs go there a lot. I've been seeing it a lot. That's the anti Gen G trip, actually. Oh my god, he could have potentially read it, but actually it's Yoru ult, so he changed it. See the smoke? Yoru TPs into that smoke on Gen G. Oh, that's actually so heads up from Sad. Coburg will definitely get a kill off of that trip later in this half. Watch, chat. Because he also got that one in sight on pistol. It's showing me like crazy prep against Yoru. This is really good. I haven't Three seen a single cypher do that trip. TSM are going to be playing off-site back Holy in fuck. main because the spike is planted for them. So we're going to have the late round spam fest. Everybody's just chilling down in the backside of Proto, though. Still left up the two stars. And Cobra making oh some my of that God, they're all flat. Still leaving oh everybody God. on the side of Sam Esports. Was, in a very, very bad was it the one like straight up in the air? Especially coming through from Sim on that jet alone. So fake entries Maybe coming we'll through from the double duelist composition. Oh, it was that pop flash you uh, mentioned that Where? was yeah. the catalyst to that round win. I like that from TSM. You know, they had three players offsite, so those two guys stuck in could have been in a very, very bad predicament. Had they, you know, kind of just been left to themselves to fend off yeah, all five players from Sad, but oh, TSM making a proactive play to get in there and help those guys while they were under pressure, able to convert the first gun round of the game. Well played. Damn, bro. That's really sick. Good job by. Um, seven right there. Surprising to see really good flash. How many different sites I like all these looks for Yoru right taking. now. Yeah, this is uh, super see, nice. They're, they're using all of the good gate crashes to take a lot of ground. Oh, they saw that though. So, so There's tons of prep on Yoru. They even had the Asha Star ready there, but they didn't have the counter really Hunter's Fury play, which is pretty fire. Also, a Molly for double damage on the back out. This is a good in the meantime, right A main being worked, Spike being recovered from a proto, I gonna meet up invested. with the rest of the players they, they've left soon here to just try and find Wow! Re -clear from sad. Bro, so sad are looking wears. good today. Contacting in. Pick from darkest oh my god. This is like, I mean, this is the sad I remember from the offseason, bro. Like, a little these guys look really good today. Been in the four on two, but now it's a three on two with Zosol rotating on the flank behind these TSM players. Ooh, two had seen as well. GMT, pretty good read on this too. High low. Not really. Knowing one to one below, but still actually fighting good to get the one though. Coburg with a refrag. A proto left down in the middle of sight. Two stars left, but even then, you have the plant down. All you have to do is fight. Gonna this take the fight into the one where he knows. Good fight. Good fight. Oh. As it should be, but still Damn, dude. Wow. And beautiful simple clutch coming. There was, there was no trade in sight. That was so difficult. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm thinking what I would say to my team after that one on two if I watched the VOD. Hmm. I'm, th I'm th oh, sorry, like that's a very hard one on two. So I was, I had to think about like how I would go over it with, with my team and like what, what I would want them to do to not take ones. Because yeah, you're, you're like when you're 180 separated like that and the players in between you, it's not as easy as just like, just win. You know, it's not that easy. Like you actually have to think about how to, to take ground and end up in crossfire, like pseudo crossfires. And I think the correct path thing for this player's spawn is to go this side of yellow and to never be seen on this side of yellow. Because then as this person scales out, if this person is like in this side, well, you don't need to even swing right side yellow or you, you should probably jiggle it, like to be honest, at that point. And if this person is seen here, they are then going to swing one of these ways to take the fight on this person because they're on the clock and they don't know where this player is. So 
that's the correct play because then that person gets caught in a terrible spot but Follow instead the person swung left yellow and that could have been fine if the player main decided to go this way but the problem with going that way is the spike is over here and i i'm not really sure how much time was on it to be honest but that's a secondary factor Bobbin, we've seen it time oh, and wow. time again but it's a proto to run away with a zippo clutch dude it looked like tsm were gonna pay for their lack of the flank watch it's on that karen that shit Sentinel. you know not able to have a trip behind them if they were running a cypher completely taken advantage of by darkest and i think that was also coburg with him in tow back in the main Two clutches I'm actually really digging this Asher comp, by the way. Kind of reminiscent of the first game it. when it was seven clutching up to keep them I in the first Kat half. I know was hating on Asher. I say though. keep them in the first half because right now TSM. When, I, when we saw Asher to run away in Madrid, y'all were hating. So I know Chat's not yeah, too big of a fan of Asher on Breeze, but out at a better time, if anything. I think it cooks, dude. And that wall. Think about what the wall could cook on this map. It can go across the whole fucking map, dude. The wall is crazy. It could like literally do stuff like that. Like that's fucking insane. Like you could really cook some insane shit with the wall and a Yoru. Like really insane shit. Dude, you could really cook some fucking incredible strats with your Asher on this map. It's so big, and there's so many little fucking corners to hide a Yoru in with an Astral, like the way that the EMEA teams have been doing. And then you have like smokes that can literally just come in, come down anywhere. Get Unlike, like you could time an Astra oh, no, smoke right with a Yoru gate crash Huge so entry. well, which is why there's such a deadly Already combo. Like that. Like you see the recall go popping off right there? Like that recall is like creating space for the Yoru. For free. And then he sends the gate crash in the mid. Surely that. Arcus heard it. Definitely hears it. She's like, what can you do about it? No, that would have been such a solid hold as well. Free and do anything about it. Just to walk down inside of tunnels. So he's just being first contact right now for the Viper. If he got a kill, he could have TP'd out. Good molly right there. That's a great molly. Great job is that high? Is that high? No, I got it. Okay. The waiting. And it doesn't matter. Halfway through, not able to find it. Close. A valiant effort from Sad up against an array of ultimates, low odds of winning yeah. that. Oh, Astra, barely, Astra is the, the, the most goat lurk in this game, in my eyes. Because you could be anywhere. Your util has... Your positioning on the map has zero impact on your util. So Astra is the best lurker in this game, like without a doubt. Uh, especially now that you can hear in Astral form. You know, like they they changed that fairly recently. She is an in, insane lurk, like insane. Because you can have like a pseudo five person hit with all the Asher util being there, but she could be like all the way across the map. So without that option, so it feels like five players, but it's only four. Seven's ultimate to run in there and try and ping or where the Viper whatever. is. It's a plus spam. one on anything. Like it feels like three, but it's happens only two. Late round. Whatever you want to say. Yeah, typically. Oh, that's that's sloppy. That's sloppy from Gimon. He, he panicked a little bit, but really good recovery by Poist. Just off the rip from Poist. TSM. Good bounce fight came from him. A different game than Sadar for sure. We did discuss the sky differential. The angle. Still can't so seem to pick off the fight. I mean, regardless, Stinger's still set on lockdown, but Poise just, oh. just not letting go. Huge cleanup from TSM. Really well done there. I mean, from Poise, sad going for that triple face, just trying to catch them on the cross with the sheriffs, but of course. Looks like we're going three. Significantly outgunned by the Vandal. TSM, some really good execs here. and Yeah. Yeah, absolutely have run away with this game now at this point seven to one scarn is going to be able to get the off up once more proto's been sitting on this uh the kerning your jet is done as well the astral wall 
Perhaps this is the round yeah. where you use it. It's to mainly cut just to like the get the spacing necessary and have an off. And there it is. Okay, lineups. I think they don't Seems need they don't need flashes the for from a KO because they have goes, but yeah, Yoru. Already getting away on the side of TSM. They know Scarn has it. They feel like having Still a cipher though, would take away a lot of entry power. Okay, not necessarily there anymore, but so many players just sitting around down towards backside. Huge hole though. Down from Coburg. And of course, the sandwich in Zolstal still down. looking to fight this and keep this whole set down. Yeah, TSM are running away with this shit. It's, it's over at this point, I feel like. A very, very late rotation in. And they have he the majority of the flashes it. as well that could have kept this team alive. Heads up timing, from a proto putting timing. that star down. Knows they could be Enemy flanking. Darkest finds the timing on Sim. And the third clutch of the game from a proto. Damn, He's dude. just been so consistent in these moments. Stepping up for the, the clutch, third yeah. time. Things were dangerous there for a second for TSM. After they got that wall down, they missed a little bit I think bit Yoru benefits a lot from having a second duelist dive in with him. Otherwise, there's just so much attention drawn towards Yoru's gate crashes and his plays to enter that he becomes a super weak dive duelist, like very weak. But if you put like a raise in a comp with a Yoru or a Jet that's diving in with him, all of a sudden the hit is like insanely hard to stop. And it's from my experience just watching these games, cause I've never ran these comps or anything like that. It seems like that value is greater than the value of the stall agent or you know, whatever that might be, whether it's like, uh, or info, you know, like Cypher, KO, and like a solo Yoru. Like this comp is so good because of the double duelist. Team play struggling so much there and it's just really been rejuvenated here on map two. Yeah, somehow holding their own sad. Finally able to pick up two Vandals. Although seven with the op is the only thing that worries me. You got... A Yoru with a decoy, enemy just waiting for these players player to standing. peek themselves out of existence. Now, yeah. I mean, the possibility <laughs> there, jump peek out, and they know they've offset seven. Of course, there was no suppression added to it, but still able to clear the angle. Nine to one from TSM, a huge difference from what we just saw in split. Oh, that was the first time it looked like one of those big eco round faces from Sav are actually going to net them a round win. But you know what also helps to be up 9-1 when you've won four clutches in the game? I've, I've heard that is somewhat useful <laughs> to a dominant victory. They are confirmed. Your result is strong, but it, it has to be said that like at the pro level, taking like a duelist out of the round like so that way you can't fight like that so you're not fighting obviously you're in your ult you can't have impact while you're in your ult you can just kind of calm or potentially make a play off of the info you see and then you're likely going to have an initiator that's kind of taken out of the play as well and then you're going to have a lurker potentially because you're not going to have like five people in the same spot so and then all of a sudden you're like really looking at problems right which is Another reason why you see a lot of double duelist Yoru comps, because if your initiator is like in drone or in dog or something like that, and you're in ult, then that's minus two players. And then your fifth player could be lurking somewhere holding flank. So there's minus three players. And you're like, oh, fuck, man. If they just get one. Ki so that means if they win the fight on like whoever is not in the ult, it's over, right? It's over. So that's why. Sometimes alting with Yoru is very tricky at the pro level because you really have to take into account a lot of the variance that you're entering into. And, you know, like, you, you run into questions like, should I be sending my clone out just freely when I enter? So that way, this, this map's over, by the way. So that way, it's just like clearing out a lot of the pathing of these trips because you don't see trips in your ult as Yoru, you don't see that shit. So you're like running by it. And if your Sova is not shocking it, your jet's not breaking it, obviously. So you, you're you diving in with a jet who's like updraft dashing most likely past the trip. Your Sova's probably like in fucking drone. And that's why the second duelist is so important 
or like on bind when you see the send comp with your arrays it's so good because of that when you watch k corp run like solo yoru sometimes um it's very game plan heavy and there's only a, a finite number of things you can do it feels like and those things can begin to get countered in my experience um like the gate crash that goes like here to here like i could hard counter that if i know that i'm playing a team that plays yoru like a solo yoru like i know there's Looking limited things they can do and i would counter all those seem... limited things to be given to them easy there's but with double bullets there's too much variance there's course, so many things they can do just not really the best buy here no not at all I mean, you can see the the right classic there. is preferred at that range <laughs> right there. Gets spotted as well right this will at least give an opportunity for Coburg and Bob to try to close the distance from back site shock starts to clear out pyramid no one is there though seven holding the cross with an up but gets double faced threads the needle an opportunity now for sad to get a second on the board now, oh, and this is huge. The fuse already set up, but of course, uh, they have the post plant. Stars just step down from a proto. They fight this, they win this fight. They might just be able to, but it doesn't matter. Time in the hands of really. Sad Esports, and of course, the fuse there as well. At least recovering just barely, but rough half, dude. It's really rough half. I mean, this is a, definitely an attack sided comp, right? No, no senti there, but. You gotta get more than two rounds to put some pressure on them, you know? Sorry. Moments of individual efforts without a second player trying to assist, which was just never the case on the first. Moments where it feels like we're down, we need to win a round, and I want to be the person that's gonna make the play to do it, but that's uh, not the catalyst of their the success. It wasn't on split at all. I just think Omen has a lot of value for this kid. Now to try and make a miracle we comeback happen. Tons of value. Like all of his cake gets a lot of value. This is looking like a pretty aggro push. One way is everywhere. Especially to start the off the round. My biggest concern is Cobra going to get another free k Maybe I just jinxed it. Maybe not. Yeah, but huge pop flash already set down to it. Bob protecting everybody. It's a start. Side of sad esports. It's another a start. Shot already set through. This is huge. Sad get this round. They pretty much guarantee themselves too. At that now, just having to watch the flank and keep themselves together. Another pretty explosive sight hit from Sad. We saw on the first One map that they were remaining. so good on these execs at just watching all of the proper angles for each other, exposing TSM when they went that, for Spons? peaks. The Proto playing close just had to fight off so many players. After yeah, and they actually just like buffed Omen to, uh, like they pseudo buffed Omen with the ability to do shit like in his alt now. So you could like literally like alt into the ascent A site and fucking close the door at the start of the round during an A exec. Like you could theoretically do this play right here, right on ascent right now. You spawn here, you omen blind this off rip, you omen alt here, you hit the switch, you cancel, you throw a smoke. You probably don't even smoke heaven. Because then when this one, you could smoke heaven. If you wanted to, you could. But you don't have to. Um, depends what your protocols are. I'm not going to say anything about the heaven smoke. This is the biggest thing we talked about. It's going to be so much easier for Sat to just lead themselves onto site due to that lack of sentinels. Now Cobra actually knows where the flank is coming from. Is going to fight this alone, which is probably the scariest thing as well. No soul stole. Leading around the back, a slow push up from TSM. A possibility there, but maybe not. Still just getting taken out in a matter of... Wouldn't the enemies break the door before they can enter? Well, I mean, the smoke's blowing up as they're entering. And what? The enemies are just going to, like, give away their spot. So there's, like, all these, like, hypotheticals that people always throw at me. They're just, like, they don't, they don't ever hold up because of just, like, how pro games work. Like, uh... So you play off barrier at the start of the round, you dodge KO knife for like literally one second, and then you just literally do what I just said. Like, um, you probably blind just to take main control at the start, or at very least get this KO knife out. Maybe the KO panic throws the knife when the blind comes through, thinking it's gonna be a rush. So you may like layer the hit, right? 
I gave you a very simple watered down version of the idea. So barrier drops, you throw this blind. These guys are here. Usually, what the fuck's the other one? These guys are over here. This person is floating. Let's just say they're fucking at the A site, whatever. Could be mid, could be cat, could be fucking B, could be wherever. But this is typically what you see. And when this blind will come in, there'll be a, some counter util used, especially if you were to pair it with the cannon dart right here that gets like the close people. So these people could potentially get that. And if you really wanted to get spicy with it, you could actually throw a KO flash over the wall with the cannon dart. So the cannon dart gets a ping for sure. And then when the cannon dart gets a ping for sure, you're clearing out all of close. And then your omen alt comes in and closes the door and then drops a smoke. And if, I mean, if no one cancels the omen all, you could just stick it. Like, honestly, you could just stick the omen all on. You don't have to cancel it. Um, but then you have things like, you know, like the smoke here. So if you're spamming this from over here, we are now accounting for like two of the, say like, you know that there's only gonna be like three people here. Like there has, there's so many other spots on the map, guys. Like there's not gonna be like fucking five people at A. So if one guy is spraying the door, he's out of the play. And then, you know, like someone has to be holding cat. It's not like you have, you can just assume that no one's coming up cat. So, it, you know, like there's a lot of, a lot of things that play here that make this work. Difference, of course, also finds one, Obviously, you would have to have layers too. It's not like you just be like, oh, we're gonna open the door and then we're gonna win the round. But. that has been happening. For the side of TSM. Frozen. You know what I'm talking about. And realistically, this should be the nail in the coffin for them due to all that damage they got in the last round with the classics. The economy in a pretty bad situation here for SAD. You can see the haphazard buy that they've gotten. A bunch of light I just want armors, TSM to end this outlaw, early so we can go ghost. I mean, at least it's Coburg with it. But a ghost, nonetheless, not really the best on Breeze when. You know, you're taking fights across the map and you're dinking people for like, you have to hit three dinks to get a kill. Stinger for Zostal. They're posted up here for what looks like going to be a fast A play. Perhaps Cobra going. Like whenever I give a strat like halls. that, I, I'm taking all of this into account. Like, trust me, I, I've thought it all through. I, I It's just to say all of that every time is one redundant and huge suppression for like half of the view so for like the some people and you would fight this is just to keep this team back of course it's just annoying for people no probably to like i don't want to get to people get annoyed. themselves out of the way actually i leave sad esports in a pretty good position no poise it was a good question to find darkest in the deepest deepest parts revealing area and regardless finding the shots as well so they of course flank left down to Coburg. so hitting the headshots as well seven now low enough to the point where this fight could be taken either way but it wouldn't be too seems over but i guess if bob, if bob wins this like, like they could go on a run here of course wall goes down oh One shot what baby. Wow. bro but it doesn't hit 38 kill. health left and a wrap around they've heard it though those no way what in the world fighting the angle with a shot wow. is crazy i saw the vision i mean we, we could all see the vision i was i was hoping it would happen just because it would have been cool but uh sadly it did not a good attempt from bob those are some crispy shots but Sad on this exec just getting really disconnected from each other the individual players Pushing up in different areas, not in positions to really Like a question like other. would I send a jet and up cat on a strat like that? that? A That's a question that is very loaded, right? Like, have I run the strat before without a jet going up cat? If I've run that strat before without a jet going up cat, or if it's very meta to run that strat with a jet going A main, then I might run it with jet going up cat. But if if everyone's sending the jet up cat on a flank, I am definitely not sending the jet up cat. Like, I'm telling you now, I'm just not doing it. I think it's not a good idea in a vacuum. Thing. But Maybe it is a good idea if a huge rotation over towards the, the meta side. dictates it being a good yeah, idea. But from this there, moment right now, when I am answering your question, it's a bad idea. And off that, but just things change based on how certain comps play and how it rotates happen. A possibility there huge shots coming through with just a sure that alone. makes sense i mean we're on match point this is dire i really need. do not think about things that to win the round in black and white and, and that answer kind of looking at the way things might, might work shed out. some light Storm on that. With another headshot as well not wanting to collect the space especially since tons of players just on the outskirts here for tsm 
Let's see now what TSM opt to do. Sad have had some pretty good ideas in Snap, but I just think TSM have played their comp super well. For a risky kind they look really comfy here. 3v5, poised taking a fight, just seeing if he can win it, maybe off that. Try to go over something by the end now, but time is way too late. That realistically wasn't even a possibility, so... Sad gonna stay in this thing just barely. Gonna be able to get a couple rifles into the next, and... I mean, that was a good round. Nothing crazy. They just... Pressure A, Coburg works B, gets the space. They go play off the space he took. Viper's pit for the round end. I mean, that is, they pulled that page out of the Valorant textbook, and I mean, it works. It's just a, a good round. Yeah, huge chance for recovery in terms of economy, too. This round with obviously Scar and able to pull out the Blade Storm, but. Man, my biggest worry is seven. I, like, we, we saw some pretty interesting stuff come out of the ore so far with the ult alone. So, you know, for this to be a huge information Ooh, gatherer. I, lo I love this, Darby. I mean, not even exactly what it cool what it player. really truly is. Yeah, me personally, I just hope we don't no, see a fake comeback oh, right now. Sick. I either need a comeback in a century, or I need TSM to close this out so we can go to a scent and watch a Yoru Brimstone Gecko. <laughs> we got the fast hit here from Sad. Bro, that's a potential a Yoru ult play, by the way, too. Before. We'll see if they can like, you were doing that. that exact sequence with the Serva. Okay, is it a fake comeback? Except Maybe not. Actually, for the they're, they're so putting old. together the numbers, but a huge fake out that allows Poise to... I mean... Take another one in. Yeah, TSM uh, shot through walls, man. And it, yeah, a, a proto left alone. They have a star left. Whoop de do. I mean, how much work is that going to do you? Yeah, this is the fakest comeback over, ever, yeah, right? Straight through the blocks. This is what we were missing on the defense, and, and now we finally get to see it on the attack. But still, match point, one round. It's one round versus six. Has to be a fake comeback. Ain't no shot. At what point do we become believers no <laughs> Wyatt question. stop the point where we are oh no, fuck it we're so far yeah we're oh, so far from being believers believe. even when because the casters are like debating about fucking more <laughs> the fake comeback you just know, start believing you know it. at that point I think nine rounds is what I start believing I'm gonna, believe I'm gonna it give it now. a solid nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe, believe it now. now. Because the, the look in Bob Bob's eyes show. Dude, I swear to God, you put a and chain think, on Darkus. I think that's valid enough. Darkus at this might point. just become crashies. You know, Bob is locked in when put she doesn't Skarn's have the chain cube in hand on Darkus, and Darkus might <laughs> I just think be crashies. I've seen that every other time. Laser focus right now. <laughs> I I honestly believe you guys see in it, right? Bob's supremacy. Queen Bob stuff. This is my queen. So. For me personally, do you see it? I think we get the dubs here. Um, did I just? Hopefully, I didn't troll. You see it? But you don't see I'm it now. It <laughs> looks like crashies. That's my storyline. No gum, yeah. I you mean, need you gum, gum and, and that chain. Gum in the chain. Okay, needs gum too. Bob in them this season. She's been. Oh, why do none really, of them have anything on the really walls? Because it's challengers. So sad I don't got it like that. I'm no, just kidding. I don't know. All right. <laughs> The gamers, what? dude. I'm trying to look at what two I didn't have anything on my walls. They're going back and forth on what they wanted so to long. buy. Sims considering like a hero guardian, but no, they're just gonna play kind of conservative. Make sure they have some weapons for I next. Think that was a GM, wait, hold up. GMD on the glass nah, cannon vandal. Interesting. Glass cannon vandal. Selfie. I love this. Wide swing. Cam goes out. GMD dead. No, I'm kidding. Coburg dead. My apologies. But still, I mean, they're just looking to see what they can do. And there's a big move just coming through in tunnels, which, again, potential for a pick is huge, especially with GMD. Just feeling pretty confident with this. Now smoke set up. Spray what if he down, just, like, not able to find any potential to smoke, got them. dude? Not something sad I've really done so far. And again, this is a moment where the lack of Sentinel can punish TSM. The Typically, of you this, would though. have a Cypher tripwire. KO Clash, Dart, screw that smoke. But now look at the angles they have to pick up. GMD just gonna re-clear this. Oh, that timing is so tragic Joe for Zostal. Joe is Zostal. definitely Wanted looking at the map right there in that back up. Cloud gets caught. Should be good for though, yeah? Oh, and the angle peaking. It's the dry angle peaking that really starts to get you. And of course, I mean, the only person who can do a lot here is Bob and Darkest with the amount of util they have. But I Boys being here with Guardian heavily relying on is just to super find that scary, pick. actually. Two players still left over towards with Dart Absolutely and all, like he could all might be saving it for like the next they gun. They this is scary. Okay. And it's Cobra getting taken out. Information could have been given away in seconds. And yet now you're still oh, yeah. fighting. Yeah. 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 A proto sheriff. That'll do it. Route. 
owned, Classic. by the way. 1360 Good a set. There's well the Proto Sheriff. It wasn't the Ion Sheriff, but uh, I mean, yeah, he's crazy with that weapon and easily the MVP I know, for right, that Katie? map. But he had like I do three love clutches in the first half, a 1v1, a 1v3, and a 1v2 or something like That's that. That's why I sent but that tweet out after was last was the stream. reason that they ran away with that on attack. It could have been a bit closer of a half for sure. So standout performance from him to really bring his team here onto Ascent. And, you know, I want to see if Sad can kind of tighten things up here because the, the team play was not looking as strong as it was on Split. Of course, Breeze, that was TSM's uh, map pick. The, was was Sad the team that ran like a weird comp on, on Ascent? Their own map and I think they the were, question yeah. The question for me, Gompers, is are Sad going to bring out that Bro, yeah, they crazy were. comp what the fuck? onto Ascent with the Yoru, Gecko, and the it's Brun? Not working, because they've done it twice now. The first time, totally caught I mean, those are hard opponents, time, to be fair. Not as much success. So, I didn't see in comp, I'm, I'm but... wondering here if if on the third attempt, they're going to bring that out, go back to something standard. We'll see. If they don't bring it out, then what about TSM? truly, what they was the journey for, shit, in my right? opinion? <laughs> I, I Should have think... been a 2 out. Yeah, just get 2 out at that point. <laughs> <I> <laughs> don't think... leave a sent in, and, and yeah, that's, no. That's, I, think... That's that's Astra, though. I think if they don't, the true friends we made were along the way. But of course, I, I really am hoping that we get to see it. I know you guys are, too. We'll be right they back with more that. NA Challengers. Man, they're, they're switching it up a lot, actually. No, that's less here. Could be running default comp. I don't know. I don't know what either team is going to run right now. This is interesting. No, I'm not an MXS coach. No, 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 no. Invent <laughs> a time traveling machine. <laughs> Turn it what do I think about Raves? Close. I mean, it could work. It could definitely work. I don't know how meta Clova is going to be. Like, I, you're losing a lot when you lose Omen, for sure. But I see what that comp can do with Clove, right? Like, the vulnerable thing with, like, a Sova, Breach, KJ, Raze is pretty crazy. And then you have a very powerful double initiator combo with initiator with like info and flashes. You have a lot of stall for sure. So that's good. Like with the raise at A or the breach at A, the clove smoke. And then KJ and Sova, you know, could potentially do the same shit as always at B. So yeah, I mean, like, that seems like a good comp. It seems like it might be hard to get an op very active with the raise. It also seems like you might have some problems with, like, like, dashing out onto Switch and shit like that. Like, um, it's like creating space out of chokes on Ascent can be very big uh i've i've literally coached comps without duelist though on a sense so you know it's not impossible even like with a raise so it's definitely doable it just would require some work yeah and i'm not sure 100 like what the shelf life is on a comp like that right now They could be gaming. I don't know who's going to use Clove. I think that's a really good comp for Clove, though. And based on that comp, I think, yeah, like Loud could be a, a, like a great candidate to run Clove, actually, as like the first team, right? 
Like hypothetically, even like instead of rays, you would put like Phoenix there and you would be like, ooh, wait, would Loud do something like this? Let me think about it. Maybe. Like and even instead of KJ, they would they might do like Viper, bro. Like Honestly, like Loud would probably run that comp with like Viper instead of KJ. With less on Viper. So it wouldn't shock me to answer your question. Also, a quick question. A lot of casters use the word firepower for players. Does it just mean players with crisp aim on duelist? Uh, it's hard because people you. I don't like those words. Uh, I hate those words on the cast. I, I've kind of like gone off on these tangents before because, yeah, I, I know what you mean. And I try to avoid those words, which is why, you know, like you might not get that answer from me like normally. But I don't know the way I've heard the words like fundamentals thrown out or firepower or like just I don't know, man, like, it's just so generic. It could be used in so many different ways. And honestly, like a lot of the times the, the definitions to those words were, are sometimes created by people that weren't even in teams. So it's like, they don't even have the insight to what those words actually truly mean, you know, like, so to answer that question is like, I can't answer that question because everyone's using that word very differently. Like, that's why you can't even figure out what it means yourself. Like, it it holds no meaning when I watch a cast. It it used to hold meaning, but I think things happen in Valorant so fast and there's so much variance that you just have to use adjectives to like describe things. And oftentimes things get blanketed under like nar the narrative of fundamentals. Like, oh, this team has really good fundamentals. Like, what does that mean? Does that mean they have really good spacing like on the map? Does that mean they have really good macro as far as like their compositions? Do they have really good spacing entering the sites? Because I consider all of these things fundamentals as like, an ex-professional player, in-game leader, coach, like whatever, like, you know, spacing, util usage, timing and understanding, like on defense, I need to stop the rush. I need to stop the execute. I need to stop the fake. I need to stop the walk up, like the layers of the rounds. I mean, there's so many things that fundamentals encompasses and people just like throw it out there on the cast all the time. And firepower is another one of those things where it's like this team has really good firepower it's like what do you what do you mean by that like do you do you mean that they have five better aimers than the other team because if they had five better aimers than the other team and they lost the game you're you're saying that their coaching staff is dog shit or their their strategic approach is dog shit because if their firepower is what's insane and that's what's carrying them through like, it's just, in my eyes, it's like sloppy wordplay or analysis. It's like kind of like filler. And that's fine. Like, you need to have those things on a cast. Like, I'm not saying I'm even, I'm definitely guilty of that stuff. Like, you need to yap a little bit. Um, but, yeah. That's why I try to be very real when I'm casting and when I'm doing these co-streams because if you're hype about everything and if you fucking say everyone looks good or if you're fucking negative about everything and say everything looks bad, then you actually don't have any idea what anything is relative to anything else. And thus I try to like provide the gray area, you know? And I feel like everyone in Valorant is wanting to just in esports in general, they just want to be like so polarizing. They want to be so like black and white, like this is this and that is that. And, you know, 
It's just how people are. That was such a rant and such a yap. I don't even know how we ended up there. It's just those moments the TSM are running away with the game. And that was the case in the first map too, even though it was dominant for Sad. TSM were winning the clutches. Right now they have six clutches against Sad. I don't know how many Sad have. I can't even really, re I can't recall any. If they do, it's like one or two, right? So that's been a massive boost to TSM. I know, right? Flower is crazy. Super on display in those moments. But yeah, on, on this map, they, they fundamentally pretty much outplayed them. Like it was, it was, it was very solid all around. Yeah, and we got to see those new composition coming out for TSM. We were expecting that standard that they ran already one time, but guess what? They brought something completely new. The double duelist with the Astra. And if you are like me and you're wondering, where did we see this composition? Because we've seen it before. It's actually Jin G at Masters Madrid running this composition exactly the same and executing the way that they were playing. Like for those of for people that have like watched me for a really really long time they'll know that I, initially i was very high on ema um like early on in valorant i thought ema was like insane i love watching ema but obviously like i changed my perspective like i'm not gonna think i don't think along the same lines forever like i'm willing to change my fucking perspective right um at the start of this year and watching Sentinels through Madrid, even after Madrid, I was like, okay, America's is way better. I was having like conversations behind the scenes where I'm like, I feel like our seventh, eighth, you know, like ninth best team could potentially be in the playoffs of other regions. And that was my perspective, you know, at the start of the year. But I wasn't so certain on it to say it like live on wherever. Like I didn't say it like yap about that too much at that moment because I wasn't certain. Right, like I'm not gonna speak for the seventh, eighth, ninth best team in my region because I haven't seen them enough, but it feels that way based on what I've seen like last year. But if you were to ask me that same question now, today, after having watched all of these Americas games, I'd be like, man, our, our region isn't as strong as I thought it was. Uh, I think the approaches in some of the other regions have been very impressive to me, to say the least. So I think I wouldn't be so set in stone with that, that belief. Right. And that's what I mean. Like I'm just constantly like changing my expectations and judgments of the scene. And I'm in this gray area in my head trying to figure out like where the scene is going and who's doing it right and who's doing it wrong and trying to be aware of who's making adjustments while who's, who isn't. I don't want to be like too critical of coaches because I don't know if it's the coach or the IGL. It's like, but then there's certain people that talk in the scene and they speak with such authority. Like this is how, you know, like this decision is made. And quite frankly, I just know they're wrong. Like there's so many variables. It's impossible to often you know, like know for, as an outsider, like which one affects a team. by the IGL to, to really adapt. But when I do know, Euro when I do feel like I know, I say the map control that the Euro can have. Uh, but uh, I do also agree that we might be seeing a change. Now, what's interesting though on the other side is that for TSM, we have not seen this map. And this is a this is a map that is gonna allow Sim to, to shine a lot, to, to thrive the way that he was doing on the yeah. second map when he was enabled by that space by the operator. I'm so let's jump into the and select. Let's see As a fan hearing fundamentals from Cass, I just thought it was a good teamwork taking Saturn fights together, the using we util, not letting people go, going to fight yeah, solo. The, it is looking yeah, like, I, I've thought that at times too in Valorant. Um, Coming into Valorant, I mean, the word fundamentals like that, that comes from Counter-Strike. Like, that was in Counter-Strike for years. And people describe that as, you know, like, overarching macro defaults. Like, hey, we know how to take map control. Like, we know how to fake a long hit and keep three people there. We all understand on a rotational level that the third player is now at A, and we now have a time window to hit B. While we hit B in that time window that we are aware of, which is part of fundamentals, we will keep good spacing, which is also part of fundamentals. Our timing will be very good, which is part of good fundamentals. 
our trading will be good, which is part of fundamentals, and our util usage will be good. So it's like, it literally is such a blanket term that it's so, ah, oh, it's such a blanket term. It's such a blanket term over so many areas of the game. Yeah, it's basically everything except what the coach gives you, right? It's your intuitive understanding of what, what every action that you make causes the enemy to make, right? That, and then you doing the right action to counter that, right? Like that's, that's what I think fundamentals is. Big hit, and in the meantime, Looks like Sad want to go for a push down mid, so we might end up in a situation here. But where again, TSM like you, you have people that haven't have fend off a gone through those things for years and years, and so like they don't understand that, and trees, they just use the word like whatever. Oh, they read it, and that's this, just what though. what's happened over the years. And that's fine. That's Understanding fine. there's always the K and its tendencies. So Sad Esports. Not saying I'm fucking pissed about anything. Lack of what it is. good amount of information, and it's huge too because the only info they got was uh, possibly cypher cam which tends to be one of the highest lurkers so absolutely no info coming through and already a big entry through from tsm i think it's yeah things slowed down by that funny both these teams like gravitated back spot. towards really cheeky almost able to get a first pick off of that as well the door comes down huge fight on the flank here a proto gets caught from bob the trip TSM's is going to be down super, and we are in that situation default, where sad are going to be retaking from every angle all of tsm in sight flash and dash to get in Everybody already down in the back of sight, but Coburg manages to find a couple of their own sad esports already on a pretty good, uh, lengthy stride. Would it have Yeah, like I wouldn't I exactly like there's a reason why I didn't include firepower on fundamentals. Like, I didn't, I didn't say aim, I didn't say you know, like any of that shit. I might include no, I don't even think I would include fun like when to burst tap spray. I wouldn't even include that in fundamentals now. I wouldn't say that. I would say that that's like mechanics, like individual mechanics. Like you've, yeah. That's how I would classify that. It was a really opinion. good round from Sad to kick things off. It's hard, it's hard to bucket all these weird things. Really it's not like there's a fucking memories. dictionary you can refer to. You're getting slightly <clears throat> smoked off down in A, especially if you're GMD, just trying to get a potential sandwich in, but oh, this is huge. Watching the angle, the judge in hand, knowing oh. his team's gonna want to erupt very, very quickly oh, and finding oh majority God. as well. At that. I thought they were all gonna die. My there. And that's beautiful. Sad Esports playing this and, and just shutting down the buy round coming through from TSM, which in turn just. This could get scary here for TSM. To their own in, in the next round as well. Do we have a yeah, pred going? Notice until it was too late. We do. I was thinking about the previous round that TSM actually forced into this off the spike plant. DMD picks up the judge, just trying to go for a miracle kill. Has a whole lot of different stinger skins to choose from, but with 64 HP up against three players from Sad. Basically, an impossible task here, despite how good he's been for TSM this year. Stuck up top though, TMT. Wide swinging the angle, not letting anyone really take the fight on their own, isolating. But yeah, sad esports, they guaranteed themselves another round, possibly as well, especially with that huge buy. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do like, um, you know, the yeah, loud really style to, without the silver right solo KO. Right here, excuse me, it's back interesting on what decision. That full by caught me I thought it was crazy when Loud did it, but they made it thinking work. about what happened previously, and all of a sudden they go for that fast effort into tree and just get shut down it was a good timing on that nade from darkest and you know situation in which sad just did a pretty good job swinging for each other but of course csm take a massive risk yeah like crosshair placement would be a good one actually no less. such a defensive a sided map they're going to be off to a really tough start here five sheriffs on this round going to be extremely tough to win economy is going to get out of hand for sad definitely an uphill climb for them early into this game Oh, you're good, Sadie. That makes perfect sense, yeah. Set this team back just a bit. TSM. 
struggling to find any sort of isolation on the pistol round. Of course, that's what Sagis like to do. Honestly, they're not trying to force these fights to give away. Still owing some respects down to TSM. This comp's going to be really annoying to play against next half. Cypher, Viper. Like, that'll be really annoying, so... Slowing down here, pressure. Actually, think sad might some rounds here. Uh, Viper wall, which makes some nice space to get into the close area in mid just before pizza. Knife comes out darkest on the proper angle. Well, MXS is moist X so Shopify. Still watching a main. Uh, because I know that question is happening. Sure, here, so. the long range, we'll see if TSM can make any magic happen here. Like the boys are part of Shopify, yeah, and I've just been a creator for Shopify, so they hooked it up with this. The damage just set down there in classics. Being brought out as well, so yeah, definitely not the way you want to go down if you're TSM, especially oh. their scar and just ending Actually, your life in a matter of seconds. So I mean, I don't. I probably shouldn't say this. I probably shouldn't say this out loud. Like, I can't believe I'm gonna say that. I probably shouldn't say it. I should have just said it. Cause now, fuck it. I'm about well. I'm about to be resigned for another year for Shop Shopify, and then, like the way they've bucketed things and stuff, and uh, I don't know. I just, yeah. So, yeah. I just gotta you know dot the i's, cross the t's, and stuff. But yeah, love Shopify. So super happy to be here, and I just you guys know I I I've glazed Shopify from day one. They're rummaging for some potential here on the side of TSM, it's waiting for a big push again. through. From like, I didn't even try to shop around or anything. No pun intended. 2K coming through from Poise, of course, Coburg. There's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. But the potential, a, a little bit larger for TSM, making that win condition be uh, that person advantage. And that knife just spotting out a proto there, they assumed that he would be the only one there, right? Given he was the cypher. Probably the shouldn't say that part out loud either. So right? aggressive. Not very good negotiating. And TSM term. just hard yeah, pushed them off that, to, working into this A split now. Cover going out. Slowly working themselves up. GMG down on the right hand side. Doesn't even look your smoke, so it's still stole to run away with that one. Oh man, dude, TSM are falling apart, apart here. Surprisingly, Sadder. somehow, just Running managing to it. make things work. Despite that player disadvantage, now stuck in a 2v1 situation, yeah. and now absolutely no one left alive to tell the story. A Coburg has had such a breakout performance today. The flick with the Bulldog. I mean, certainly from that situation, you don't expect the player necessarily to be on gen. Of course, could be, but wasn't aimed yeah, for that. Yeah, here. Flick is going to lose that. Love to see Bob on Sova, by the way. Like, she is just like, due to get way more kills in the rest of this game. Like, I feel like we only see Bob on two kills right now because the score is 4-0 and everyone on her team is owning. Like, that's... But CSM... Just hasn't been allowed to happen yet. Every time I watch Bob play this map, she fucking owns. No silence left. Down to it. Slightly afraid of Sat. I mean, Sat applying a lot of that pressure. I'm choked on that shit. And uh, not really a lot to put into this round as well. Seven already utilizing one of their flashes just to get some of that space down in mid. And Sat are just going to go ahead and play this round pretty passively, not yeah. going to overplay this. They have the turret over at B, which is watching the mid cross of TSM opt to yeah. push up there off that standard Viper wall that they're putting up. When you do see a Viper on the attack side. And on the opposite end of the map, Sad are just gonna, you know, post up to play tree. They have darkest to watch a main. Here. They don't want to give anything away here. They Ooh, don't want to. That timing push. is awful. Always gonna be sent back by some spam. That turret gonna get contact. Setup. Back B. Oh, the dart, the drone. No knife. And a pop flash down towards the back of side, of course, oh, huge. Dude. That's <laughs> just down through nice the wall fucking and, and, dart. Course, and now this player's out of the play. Given away to the side of Sad Esports. They can't do anything about it. are gonna go down soon. Semi -save round. Just left Wait. To to see Next kill can... is big. Scrounge for they could get in the site. 14 seconds left and a dream, especially yeah, the spike already being placed right. down. And no, he's no, also no, watching no, the no, angle no, 1v2 no, situation. No, yeah, location given away. Absolutely no time. All they have to do here is wait and try not to die as well. But beautiful shots have come through from Covert. My ultimate is Steps it up so much. They got it so close, dude. Sad, we're trying to explode back into the site to help Covert. But TSM just slowed things down. We're holding. Yeah, they definitely need this time out. Catching those players out, here. they were trying to get in quickly. 
Oh, dude. Too fast on that timing. Good fucking one way. Good dart. Good drone. Good job retreating the back side at that timing. Sad are looking like they're running away with this shit right now. There's going to need to be a change in philosophy all this time out for sure. Coburg again at the end. 8 and 0 right now on the Killjoy. Clearly the standout player for Sad today. Just excellent play across two maps now so far. Sad up 5 0 on the favored defensive side of Ascent. I agree. It was. It ended up being a pretty poor round by Sad. Time out for TSM. Like, when I mean, all of a sudden very, done, very got pretty five sloppy. And yeah. Just coming through on Ascent. Looks good for but moments. Super strong but performance, and I think it would be even more worrisome that that lockdown is there. Huge counter to the to the Viper's pit. We're seeing that could possibly be placed by Poist. So, I mean, if anything, still a bit more in favor of Saudi. Let's Sports see if there. we get like a pit lineup out of Poist. Saw some now that crazy back shit on this full by interested There's in the one that less did in like the corner of hell here, how to that, like, going to approach gets, things like, some, with something weird like this composition it's gonna like all of sight besides like tiny corners over here the b side Flashbang. which you know if you get through main kind of allows you to perhaps walk in but Coburg it's is a good smoke wall, if your plan is to do something like this because the obviously the enemies the don't know if you're going to use this smoke in the mid round to slip in the line you could be holding like a judge right on the other side of it. Mid, it seems, but so you pretty much throw this smoke yes, I mean, when you think that the other team has a pretty good solution to immediately get by your one way, point. which this comp does. Yeah, big clear. Like you're one step ahead of Coming them. Coming through from mid, and some of the pings over towards A, so they know. Like they had to waste all there that util, and they have to wait for that smoke to fade. You know, this is a slight really win. Come through, though. Everybody on the side of TSM just already applying that pressure and managing to take majority of the control, though. Now, of course, oh, players just sitting around down a tree, waiting for the sentry to be committed. Poise peeking the angle. Of Dude, course, though, two players already down Sad Esports. Go, taking TSM and just ripping them Over apart, waiting especially all with here. suppression just laid down. Now, at least trying Good to make things even more by clear. The way. To the side of TSM, but headshot oh, after headshot, bro. isolation after isolation. Oh, just oh my god, to win any everyone's just getting owned down in hell and praying that there might be a possibility, but there isn't. Six this is rough. already left down a sad. Let's see great some players great just KOL out of dark right there. Eager, swinging into tree with no smoke on the door, trying to take the fight to sad and just running into crosshairs, getting gunned down. The KO ult was perfect from seven as well because Coburg wasn't able to put in an early lockdown. Sad were content to play retake because of it, and that just got nullified by the null command. But TSM, I, not a fan of how they played that post plant situation. It's going to result in their economy getting Three, broken two, again. On jump up. Sad esports. Fantastic performance here so far. Oh. Looks like they want to take God control of a main. I hate when I join a combo in the jet middle. Jet knife what... close. The one-way smoke comes in there. Gonna, there. gonna post up Scarn so back in line. So they throw the knife. And in the meantime, that's just gonna allow two, the rest of Sad to nice. focus on the beast. They have the alarm but there's bomb no rotation the at all. To play off contact Holy. in main. This is a good setup for them. Because right no one disrespected the one-way smoke this round. So it's refresh. Actually waiting for these players to He's make playing off of turret, play. trying to make Beautiful. himself look bigger than he is, because they'll alone. never expect the third He's like close. Now. Sim is on the outskirts, but the paranoia helps slightly, blinding oh, both of them and leaving Sadi Sports to fight. Oh this beautiful oh, shots from Bob, and of course it's there. I thought for sure she looked the one below both of them. Like a lie. And backup now arriving. She's feeling it. One v three situation and a dream left up to a proto to take that spike, maybe oh, make the rotation as well. But it doesn't seem to happen. Six health left. <laughs> it's incredible that he's still alive, but they're gonna drone him. I mean, just not willing to make a single mistake, not willing to give a proto an inch. The amount of you till the clear about is ridiculous. And is having a rough one, yeah. They are just not trying to throw away a single thing here. It's hard though, single initiator like this. That's a little bit difficult. Diving into these sites without it, like a scan anywhere. Looking difficult, if anything. Sad Esports took a step up and... I haven't really been paying close attention sure from, but it to the entries the like that. that could but I, I can imagine it would be difficult to enter. That would be a pretty big commitment on the side of TSM, but... 
could get them around on the board. Just a walk through here. Okay, flash. And have this Viper Wall to walk up close mid, flash through it, trying to catch someone out behind. Okay. So kind of telegraph. I mean, look at this. The the one way main, well. KO controlling it. Knife cat, no, no one's cat. I mean, pick up man. and cover mid. I feel like TSM He's being very readable here. here from TSM. Good break. They are already marking the positions of where these players Omen are. Omen has blind. They're going to give themselves Good away blind. with the tracing there. So now you have to fight this down back site. GMD watching and looking for this pick to come through. It's also, but the Odin might actually be too strong. Oh, and they hear the noise. Oh. They know somebody might be there, but they don't play in time. Instead, leaving this up to Coburg to fight this down the back I think site. they could have played that a Instead, bit better. might just lose their first round into this half. It's up to Darkest to make that say. Of course, two flashes left available in his suppression as well. So, tons of utility to use. He's getting teammates to ping the spam spots. Right side sight on the floor. Slow work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's trying to get spam. a first spam kill. Bait out a peak. It's because it's a really good off angle. No way. Yeah, Poi's just going to shut that down. Difficult situation for Darkest, the first round for TSM on the board. And again, on those B hits, I like that they slowed things down again Wait, after getting into guys the site. Aware that what on happened? the previous, that kind of position just baited Zad into what peeking happened? through spawn. And it worked again. Skarn got baited, took a peek through spawn, went down. Did I miss All right, something? Now that we've gotten the picks on the people rotating over, let's deal with everybody back site. That's exactly what they do. Oh, from <laughs> I didn't just, know just the lore of that. That's crazy, actually. What the fuck? On the side of That's TSM. actually kind of crazy. Still popping those knives. Yeah. <laughs> See the cool things for the primary. Still silence. Swoopsy pits. Just most appreciate you guys. Maybe the dash heard, but. Yeah, I mean, even then, Seven having a huge lineup to see if anybody's hiding just within wine. I did not know that. That's crazy because this isn't as they a pick lot. that out, they clear out the angle as well, and a huge suppression already coming through on Seven. Here, on my apologies, Darkest. Yeah, and in the meantime, we just have Skarn in mid trying to play off of the alarm bot. It's very big that TSM win this round with these alts, really guys. The primary information here. Actually, now look, Bob just fired off a recon I imagine into we're about B to use main, a few of them. and you can see if that's gonna pull her away towards a absolute silence right now from TSM. Smoking I haven't to done anything to draw this to to make sad if you like they're gonna work that area of the map. Holy but fuck, it's that's a kill. A great entry from Sim. Sim just took it away. That's a kill. Now Sim. another one as well. Big entry off of TSM. We were missing this portion of them that the controlling, very, very adaptive team that is now putting a lot of that work through. Of course, Viper's pit now laid out as well, taking the majority tree. tree. So if they want to fight this, there's only one angle that they can. Oh but my god. To, maybe, oh my. But Welcome the to the fucking map, Sim. Jesus Christ. Gorgeous from Sim. Great entry Holy as well. fuck, dude. Just been so impactful in those situations for TSM this year. I was around. Those first bloods on attack. That was a sick but round, dude. How were those his first four? For more of a silent walk of combat. Wow. Just has a knack for getting that first sick kill. KO flash. Let's give credit to Crucial team. for the team. Who's that seven? Late into this half, some momentum being built. The economy for Sad not looking too good. They're going to buy up what they can, making sure they can uh, still afford it into the next. Again. KO Early just like playing no knife right now. If they were to the disrespect the one way or knife, but... Yeah, the flash doing a lot of damage. I don't think TSM's oh, macro is very good this half. I'm gonna say that. Which now can't hold the space up in garage. Unfortunately, as well. Uh, not really a lot of util in that moment, Bob kind of just clearing that. But it really doesn't matter if, because if they win this round and yeah, seven, the three, noise B, they win the next gun round with a couple of these ults, a, or I guess they'll just be like KO ult, or they will have the body. Over there by Poison GMD, yeah, we're seven, watching five. I was gonna say slowing things down for a second, it's but- for a sad is like so much really better. It's not really their MO, typically. <laughs> They're down to take the fights. <laughs> Dry swing from Poison GMD and this is a really big round. Yeah, Darkest GMT. have. Yeah, well, 
Oh. Taking everything in pretty nicely there. Seven threes, so already a huge change. And of course, it doesn't necessarily even involve yeah, like, getting see, the plant This is a big out. one, actually. Been... Like, the half could slip away. I, I really do agree with this timeout for, for the reason I just said. Like, they've had an insane half. But if they lose this round, it's going to feel terrible. It's going to feel like a bad half after starting 7-0. And I still think, like, even though it's 7-3, like, they haven't made enough fatal mistakes where I feel like they're playing bad. But if they made one on this round, it would be, like, at the worst time possible. 14 and four, but crucially has the Killjoy ultimate, the lockdown heading into this next round, taking a timeout, thinking about how they want to play around that ultimate you know if they opt to could play for retake of course just having yeah. that ready to go looks like killjoy is just going to set up also on the big concern with that of course is that seven has the null command could just counter the lockdown if they save it for the post plant rather than trying to entry with the null command but on the past few rounds what's been kind of crucial for me is that sad have just totally lost <laughs> extremity control they haven't really been getting great info on either B or A main, and it's resulted in TSM executing on sites. Yeah, that it's are hard just spawns because like not really being stacked up and like there's not many trips that you can put a cipher that kind of getting rolled over. Would info block like really good, good spots? Way, though, get into a main a bit. They've got and thus allow you to cheat away. Bait. Without this being control is going to be pretty important so for the darkest obvious just jiggling hurt. over at a to <laughs> like, working into what looks like, like an the obvious ones would be like here across you know like um to make right, across mid like hang. you said like these are like info blocking trips where well, actually, GMG just the trips almost that, act like a player fight this off. if you're sad right now you really do want to win this fight Especially economy wise, seems like maybe the best bet. Those also still stuck down towards backside. Dude. TSM making Holy numbers shit. happen. And wow. Just diminishing the economy of SAD. Man, this game has changed so Sad fast. Is struggling so Five much players. right now with playing in the sites earlier in this half. They were finding so Holy much more shit, success dude. with playing off site, going for really fast retakes or like a pre take where when the spike is going down, when TSM are working their way into site and getting their post plant set up, they would just explode out of the smokes with a flash, a jet dash. You know, playing in those situations was really where they were thriving. And just trying to set up these crossfires with a couple players in site, they've just really been getting rolled over by the TSM hits. Scarm with that, they're at least going to be able to carry two rifles over into the next round. Try and make something happen with those, but look at the economy Ooh. on TSM. 9k on 7, yeah, he is facing this. There is just no reason not to. Oof. Last okay, another one box. in the half. Just looking to clear Dude. literally everybody on the How roster. Did TSM leaving them with absolutely nothing game? to take in for this round, but yeah, last round. Pretty what sure all ultimates on the board just have to come out at this point. You can already see Scar is kind of like leaving themselves up to that blade shit. in there as well. Four rounds, really solid for TSM. Coburg still with that lockdown, but of course Seven with the null command can just remove the ability to use that lockdown at a pivotal time in the round. Going up. Seven in a row for Sad, now four in a row for TSM. Already a good amount of rounds on Ascent Attack. Flashbang. Pushing out a flashbang really just flash. to get some of that mid control. TSM have been doing a great job at just overall pushing themselves down onto sites as well as gathering pretty early information. See this that work. full setup here from the KJ on A side. No alarm bot in mid. Skarn has to keep his eyes on that area. Trying to get info here when he can, but when the wall goes up, it's going to be so difficult. He might take the first That's peek here on fight, but Sim barely stays alive. That's going to be rough. He's not going to want to updraft and go for Bladestorm kills now. So he's so hard. Huge work up. Already down in mid. Wall just there for some sort of reassurance, which they could, they could just pull that up in this moment to this a good gain pace even more ground. But it seems like pushing, yeah some sort of smoke just to keep the B site their main objective but already taken out by Bob as they slowly work themselves up suppression not doing too much 
Gotha, leaving them with absolutely no resources to, resources to utilize. Respect that aggression by Scarn right there. Waiting down towards the back of sight. Big pop the flash, of course. Leading out towards seven, but an Odin just to entry in, and it doesn't matter. Oh God, Huge God. shots being made, and Bob looking to clear things out. Three feet one. one three. And 12 seconds left. Ten the spike in hand, but a big peak coming through. Still fighting things off. Paranoia there. Yep, and Kohlberg looking well to clear. Well played around right there by Sad. Huge plays coming through from Sad, waiting for that suppression to end, just to make that sure. That was a really well played round. They knew at, cert at a certain time frame, because the Killjoy setup was very A heavy, the Jet needed to kind of get some info in mid. Unfortunately, it had to do it a little bit dry. Ended up getting the info. Node to play like off of the nil command to get that updraft in. Knew to not be like super aggressive with that updraft, but drew a lot of attention for enough time for an omen one way to come stairs, thus filtering everyone lane. Like a lot of little things I just did really well that round. I actually don't know where Coburg's from. Yeah, where where is he from? On defense with the Viper, certainly some good stopping power. Would eight be enough for sad? It's hard to say because normally I think like the Viper comps can get a, a lot of attack sort of rounds, but because they have a cipher, actually catch anyone out this time. It's like they could actually have a nuts defense. Out. But a flash to lead themselves, and Seven still misses the shots. It would have been huge. DSM setting themselves up for success for a possibility on the pistol round. Big fight, but of course the shot's just not hitting. Now Proto left backside, oh, wondering where their teammates went. And everybody else that down. That really good on this default Two, comp. Three, four. Absolutely impossible to run away with this oh one. Still God, GMD trying to make the it's shots happen. It's winnable for Sim. It's winnable. Too much impact. One v one. Sad esports slowly letting themselves slip away. Now this pistol round looking a lot better. Into oh my DSM, God. Bob is what just in. That's so sick, dude. She knew that like that timing right after that second ping was like the money timing to scale up and just like hard peaked on that timing. Like just hard peaked knowing that that was the move up time. You know, like you catch them hitting W and they're fucked. I'm down to a 1v1, but Bob just ice cold jiggle one shot. Good so timing clean on that from peak. her. Very good. Now three classics for TSM. Two sheriffs. Sad close this one out. TSM are really gonna have to go on a run here. TSM look cooked. Trap play for him. Is the only thing holding this team back. I possibly could do even more than that, but yeah, suppression just slowed out to see if this team wants to bait themselves into a fight. But absolutely no potential for that. Sad Esports in a Mike, very, very good position in regards cool to their trap, weapons here. But... Yeah, you can see yeah, it's going to be hard to time this, for a right? Pop flash there for GMD, oh, maybe hoping for rip, someone to tap dude. the orb, and then flash comes through, he gets a swing. Unlucky. Picks up an easy first kill. Damn. But look at this, just the silence Unlucky, from Sad. dude. TSM feel like they're not there and they want to stack a different area of the map now. Sad are going to get the freest sight you've ever seen in your life. With Coburg, of course, the KJ working towards B, going to try to find a timing in mid. A very Yo, Applesauce gets to the five months. See KJ's on for the attack side here. Now Sad just need to set up a decent crossfire. They should be able to lock this thing up and TSM seeking to do as much damage as they can with the pistols. Yeah, the advantage there's to take yeah. here. I mean, there's just not enough time in the, the day to watch sad, everything. Especially now waiting with As a content creator, you would get higher viewership watching VCT matches, so you would prioritize VCT matches. Also, higher quality play. Fight, waiting to be picked out. Cool again, like, especially insane with a ghost and finding their first. Yeah, it's just. In a sandwich in. I now, try to support the region. Its potential, but the paranoia left down. They're just making their way. TSM, absolutely no way of gaining that retake. Like if now, I with Vandal, still co streamed the EMEA, I also wouldn't want to co stream. Apart when you're TSM, because 10 to 4 sad yeah, or just I mean, looking at like things. literally, like I'm watching, I'll be you watching e all of EMEA VCT, all of NA VCT, so America's VCT, and challengers. Up, actually, that's like literally that's pretty, seven days a week. It's like you can't even wild. play the game at that point. So, 
might be able to work you just got to pick and choose what you want to do better buy off here and if you want to play the game right like how much do you want to play the game when the season's going on if you're kosher to allow them to at least try to get you know, like a uh, right now, what I am trying to balance is around. watching DCT Americas, watching so NA Challengers, and being on a Premier right Team. That. That's okay, so rather than watching like APAC or EMEA or keep this push from coming back. But even then, just util dump coming through from A, a to replay. make sure the attention is still spanned around down outside of main. This is good though from TSM. They got that A control, that late flash, and now you can see the rotation from seven coming towards mid to pick that up. Pretty confident that Sad are likely rotating off A with at least a few players going to try to get some space elsewhere. You know, especially now, just going to show you never really know how close someone is until you peek the angle. Oh, and this is huge. Seven puts themselves in a spot of danger. There could be potential to get that first engagement from Sad, but even then, peeking out the timing slightly off and leaving a life in the hands of TSM. Now it's the work up here. Beautiful oh. blind coming through, but it doesn't Much necessarily work around. out the smoke. Creating lack of Looks vision like from Sim, but they still left. managed to fight potential things away. Comeback. 28 seconds left, and the spike's still in hand. They could push this down through main, but then they have to go through three players here. The timing on all that really awkward for him, Sad. Zosol and Bob were just so far away in spawn, still rotating over from A I while that market all the happy control was universes, taken. And Zosol didn't have a smoke I had no up. idea that, that was So you could see Scar. Oh my god, great shot, but man, listen, this thing is hopeless. You could see Zosol didn't have a smoke up actually for spawn, where Scarn had to throw the jet smoke yeah, down. Yeah, Bob is owning. And because of Honestly, that, there like, was a little timing where This Skarn is an seen. odd map, so I say that, but. She hasn't had many fights, honestly, just kind of like retreating to the back of B all first half on B hits. But whenever, I swear, whenever like we're specking Bob, definitely in really good form right now. And looked a lot better actually last map, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm sorry, that was me the map before. I split. Split. Especially pushing that guard out. <laughs> Try and find some sort of potential, but poise. Toxins going up. That smoke left up. Yeah, same Bob. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Bob's still stuck in an angle where they're trying to pick off some sort of Slightly rotation. Slightly different Viper so wall. Not really many teams are doing this one. Control a main. GMD putting down both of his smokes. A flash from seven. Molly's from poise. And you can see poise has no util left in the chamber both of them so gone, the reason so. i wanted to wait till it happened to show you but the reason why teams prefer like tripping mid it's not like I would say that's part of the reason you're gonna get a kill or some immense value off of it but just the act of breaking that trip required like fucking a lot of time and bodies and when it was broken like you can almost account for like two two to three people in mid and a lot of info is known if even if the trip wasn't broken like it allows you to freely rotate just with the peace of mind of knowing that like someone can't hear your footsteps like on that rotate and so while those mid trips do get broken a lot there is insane value in them uh every round that's hidden could triple that, that was insane um You'll see it a lot when you watch teams without Sentis play, like Loud, what they have to do, like what, how they have to rotate and how it, how intentional they have to be with every single setup and spot they play when they don't run a Senti. Um, it's like, it almost feels stagnant in a sense. Like they keep less in the same spots and but it's because of the variance when you lose like the mid info in certain phases because you can never predict like how how a round's gonna go and statistically i mean you're just always playing statistics in my eyes like statistically putting a trip in mid will just win you more rounds like over 
over time, like a trip like this. Like, so he's moved it up from here to this, this one, but it's just the same idea, right? Like, and you'll even see teams fight ahead of the trips a lot of the times because then there's like layers that the other team would need to take, right? So you could do something like smoke bottom mid or one way this B corner. And then all of a sudden, you know, the enemy team has to use a piece of util to get by this smoke. And then they're going to fucking use another PC until potentially get by the next thing. And then you might be challenging in like a crossfire setup that's like a fake, a fake setup. And then the trip is behind that. Like, and all the meanwhile, you're like allowed to cheat in certain areas of the map and like catch certain timings. And it gives you edges in certain time frames of the round in certain spots of the map. I mean, there's just no is down and mark it gives his life away left. gives the position away. yeah there's a lot to it there's a lot to it advantage, but this just shouldn't be a 2v2 sad have an opportunity to really ruin what should have been an easy tsm round win they had the ring on the b split remaining Cover making shots happen. They knew a beautiful read coming through from oh Sam on 11 seconds. And they know oh. what they need to do. They stole, but a right oh. click just ending the light. That's a big round. Okay, TSM is I mean, back Sam just in this shit. saving a round that should have never gotten that close. Respect to TSM for making the right call. They're the loss. I was joking. getting that fast rotate on B. I love that they flashed out of that mid smoke. Huge flank onto the players in market. Got the spike down. They really needed him to win this. Man, that just Oof. should not have ever gotten Huge that close. Round. Scary, scary moment for TSM. Sad are now going to take the timeout before running this full by Hunter's Fury for a post plant. Zostal with that Omen Ultimate. If, you know, perhaps they want to make some kind of cheeky play, teleport into the back B sewer off a of B hit, something along those lines. Going to. Honestly, give an opportunity, I think, for TSM to kind of calm down a little bit, too, yeah. because they were really getting ahead of themselves in that round. I think they needed a little breather to kind of reset. It was getting interestingly close. I am surprised they they still try to fight that because it was one shot. Yeah, you would. I mean, you would have, definitely to have to like, find to ways point. to get the same value in other places. Could have gotten about to... I think the problem is if you put start putting the trip in other places, like the the ground you give up before that trip is broken like having trips deep in here like the energy necessary to make it into the site after that trip is broken is so little whereas like the energy necessary to make it to be after this trip is broken is like immense like and it's it requires a lot of time and effort to even get to the trip so like when that trip is broken like the mid to late round there's so few options for you in that moment and a big fight with gmg and coburg for control of b man and if it's not broken then you know exactly how to rotate market as well just denying anybody playing off of that trip and already fob managing to find somebody making some of that damage happen but the hunter fury not really applying too much pressure still watching it coburg knew the flank was coming they heard the tp and now just trying to fight for even more but the free frag doesn't come through Regardless, sure, Sadie Spurs still managed to make this round. They there. might force you. Oh, I was nervous with like for a, a second, jug. but the sad players did a nice job all swinging together there. But I mean, oh, you can't have, say uh, enough about Coburg in this series. Has the position in B main, which is so important on ascent retakes. Seven and GMD know it. They're swinging together to trade that out. And he gets both. That is just absurd from him bringing sad to 11 and look at the economy for tsm this could be the game on the line here no money for the next they have three ultimates to play with to win this round lockdown for coburg as well here to take this site or play for the retake yeah and all they have to show for it now is absolutely no trips of course they've been taken down but tsm somehow managing to keep this team yeah, away TSM. from making that like movement. do or die here Paranoia i don't know if sad should have had this pace on this what round what else though. can you play with I mean, in reality, it has to be planning that spike, possibly going for they a re with uh, reposition here. A lot of aggression this just round. Just shredded by TSM on the entry. They played that so well, just swinging for each other out of door, the peak from heaven. Obviously, so much individual skill on this squad as well. And now it's all left down to Zostal. Their debut year here in Challengers and IGL that's been hanging around in 
that sort of tier three space for a while. Their first shot on a team that's really competing at the next level for them. Put in such a tough position here late in the game, map three. Cover going out. And now the smoke has them laid up. That's all they've been waiting for. Regardless, two flashes still left available for seven to push oh, out. Oh, good TP. And a TP as well had already been managed to find. Man, they were now all trying over. Trying to isolate the... these one v ones, but regardless, it's. It was a good TP, just... but honestly, the the timing from TSM was like immaculate. All from poised onto the position, just oh, making sure they one. leave nothing to change. So, like the way what you're saying would be possible. If there was like a heavy tree set up, there would have to be like some fucking real annoying trips here. Like the unbreakable one here coming through the door would be annoying. And then some other annoying one, like just boxing in this zone. And then some like cam that would require a lot of fucking effort to break. Like I'm talking like this cam, but it's like a foot cam for this line. So that way, if they had to come up, it would require a lot of effort. And then in addition to all of that, you would have to have this cypher that's doing this setup, probably playing mid, actually, instead of tree. And then the person playing A would probably have to be like fucking Viper or KO in a comp like this. Because what you would want to do as the A player with a heavy tree setup like this, I'm totally ignoring the fucking round, but this is a huge round for TSM. should do it yeah i'll do it i'll do it okay so what you would want to do is like the a player because now you're like you've essentially allowed the cypher to do all this shit lean mid as like an extra player mid but then you would have like two players over here playing b so you'd have one here you would have to have one, only one player at a it would allow you play like a little bit heavy towards mid b like this where let's say like 2B, one market, one spawn. And then you would hook up this main player. The reason why it's Viper, KO, you would hook them up with like a one-way smoke here or the, the smoke that we saw first half there. And whoever was the A player, it would have to be Viper, KO, because they would have stall with like the mollies. And that's why you would want those players there. Or info with the KO knife. No, oh, the off is actually set down from Sim, but so it could the work, but like... Very, very nicely. Going for... You know, like... The reason why it's not optimal is because there are a lot of key spots where you could listen to rotates. And yeah, all this has resulted in yeah, this delay. It's Look impossible to just keep that clock. ground. You could Early fight for it with been the numbers, really willing but to throw their it's impossible to keep fast. it. The attackers Poised, would get it, no mollies, and you would die. Molly gone, one and that's why, like, gone. this setup, while it could be, like, and an idea, over time, it would fail. You know, they should be able to now hit a big site execute where they don't have to worry but about But it would be a really good off. idea, Storm like, in, the rest of the in a heated moment, right and no one would be able to solve it on the spot. Oh, that's a beautiful fake. They've at least led run rotation away, but now push back regardless. Sim making sure they're still going to stay slightly Ooh. in the way to try to gain some that ground, but even missing them, the off shot, which is dire. They, they Looked like he could have got that one. At least held this back just a little bit longer. I thought he was going to spam, but I'm not going to lie. That doesn't even happen. Now spray oh, down coming bro. through from Scar Sad Esports, finding a way Looking to keep like, themselves in the game. Looking like that might do it here for Seven this and that one and done gets hard punished by the lockdown. Oh, Can't dude. get out of logs. Yeah, okay, you have Darkest it. coming late into B main here. You can see him towards the spawn. Of course, such a crucial position on that reflank. Yeah, how to make the off happen to try to take out that alarm bot, but rotation's coming in just a bit too late, especially on the side of Darkest. Oh, but regardless, they find out Sim. They hear the dash happening. They know they need to fight this back, but the open hand might just be the biggest oh. loss that comes down to Dude. it. Looking for some sort of collapse. Yeah, Sim Sim had some shots there. He definitely had some shots this round. Uh unlucky. He's Really bounced back from that 07 start, that's for sure. But man, that, that could have been a big one. They have another buy. 
It's not great. No snake bites, dude. Bro, this is a rough buy as a viper. I feel like that's the sh like these are the strongest parts of your kit. It's been so hard, and now they're on match point. And TSM, it looks fucking... like they're gonna go for a fast push Whoa. out of mid, try and crunch, crunch excuse me, a player in tiles with this flash. Oh, Kovark. Damn. Bob just that so shit. Just being thrown out into the wind. I, I mean, Hunter Suri kind of putting TSM in a very uncomfortable position down in mid, making them lose out on that fight. But the A site very heavily contested. Or, or they thinking, I definitely respect the effort from TSM. This I don't know. late I think in the game to bring out something new. A flash dash tiles is very unexpected that deep here. deep mid push, the tiles crunch. Sad, but Cobra was able to get out shit. of the way of the flash and take a clean fight. I don't think I would call it there, but something he's been doing all it's series. It's definitely long. unexpected. I'll say that. Easily the MVP here for the sad team, and they're going to slow things down with this man advantage. Good call this is their by opportunity to win the game, here. win a game that I think a lot of people would consider a a pretty big upset, given the caliber of the TSM players here, how good they've been historically, the success these players have had. Over the years, TSM poised, pushed up. It's gonna be crucial that he makes something happen, but goes down to darkest. 30 seconds left. And they're gonna go quickly into this B site now. Yeah, they try to make the effort down to it, but Seven with a nice shot off already starting off. Trying to shut this team down from making any entry onto site, but of course, barely any impact off that. Seems like already a 3v2 and the spike planet as well. The only thing maybe going in the favor of TSM is that if a Protoc is close to B main, he can pop his ultimate to ping the locations of these sad players. Where is everyone hiding? If it isn't enough. Already seven, nine seconds, just waiting for that suppression to make its way. Possibly hoping that can make a difference, but two players just Such sitting along down round. in Boathouse. And no way to fight this. Already a double swing coming through. Seven making this the shot happen. so snappy, but fuck, and again, man. again, finding the positioning there. Five health and a dream. Waiting for the peak to happen. Zolstal just ends it What a series by Sad. And a They're heating up at the and, right time. Uh, they're huge looking scary. Coming through from the side of Sad Esports. So something that they have been waiting for this whole time. Really Definitely well done on that out. map from them. The biggest win I think that they've gotten so far this season. Not even I think. I mean, without a doubt, the biggest win that they've gotten this season, sure. taking down TSM, a team of really solid wow. players that I we've see seen play at such a great level over the years. Good series by Scar. Even though he's down here, he's just 50 that kills. We have here in very active in the well. first blood. The team of Sad just team two on Killjoy and Cipher, bro. Haven't heard Bro, of Cobra right? might I mean, just be the goat for the most part. All new to challenges, all new to this level of play. Really good Dark series by Bob. So like always, I mean, Bob is really the biggest thing on this team with ADR, ADR six yeah. point first blood. Look at how good that this team is getting. Yeah. yeah, I got a name on my mind, and that's Dryad. <laughs> hey, good series. what's up? How's it going? Good. Oh, she I was, I was thinking, next. why do, would you consider this a fake comeback by TSM? Is it? Did it get to that fake comeback no. point? No, definitely not. No? I'm so out of focus. Whatever. No, <laughs> there was not a fake comeback <laughs> by any means. I mean, that was just they got four rounds on ascent attack, which is super respectable. The sides. What do I think TSM needs? Um, and take they that lost extra the pistol step? round, which that, that's. I just think they need more layers, like. I don't know if they're changing their comps too much or what, but that looks that last map was a map where it looked like Sad was just way more drilled. They ran the default comp and they just they've been a team for a long time. They just know how to play the default comp on Ascent. Whereas TSM were playing a different comp. They had to play within like a playbook, probably not many things they could do outside of the playbook on the fly. And thus the comfort was heavily in the favor of sad in like what felt like a pretty even series when it came down to the last map i think like you know the comfort just kind of took took over hard for sim to get active early with a single ko initiator but i think he ended the game quite well you guys mentioned a couple of those players that were really stepping up as we see for that killjoy uh, and i think overall everybody yeah had i saw the throughout this five, series it, like, on right the side of sad right the some really stream, great moments that allowed them to look as you were saying what the most dominant that we've seen from them 
It was insanely dominant. Honestly, I'm, I'm just Let's surprised go! you're so at the performance, Ooh, at the way that Saudi Esports kind of handled yeah. the comeback. Yo, and Eric, they could with the kind raid? Of God that. damn. Uh, if anything, TSM were really we stepping up. In. And so you saw those adaptations, right? Him. Like canceling off any sense of op push coming through from, from market, right? Just utilizing the molly and, and the smokes to try to push Ooh. that back to allow yeah. them that space down on B site. And it's it's stuff like that that allow this team to thrive, which Did you cry I, today I really enjoyed. And it was a, that back and I remember forth. you said no. you were crying last night a lot. You said something about like, you know, like talk about being closed or something. And a new composition, that standard composition that is brought. I don't know why I'm fucking with you. <laughs> you're probably not even here. Probably just dipped right away. <laughs> All right, you're back one second. Like, bro, that'd be so awkward. Just dips. That we've seen on those agents to thrive and, and look the way that they did. But we're gonna right. send it to the series highlights. Let's take a look at everything that happened. And when we come back, we have an interview with no one crying. of your favorite players, chat. in life there are no guarantees <sighs> they say a lot of stuff like that slow it down play it safe hedge your bet off no guarantee you'll win no guarantee everything's gonna be fine
Is that is that actually what that team stood for? In life, you make your own guarantees. No. My hips are not hurting as bad as they were when I started this motherfucker. Start your own fire and keep it burning. Okay. And we guarantee you'll have one hell of a lifetime. Welcome back, everyone. We just got the chance to see Sad take the win against TS. No, you want to know why my fucking hips hurt? Hold up. I'll actually give you guys the lore now of my life right now. Ready? Okay, so, dude. Oh, wait. Our GOATS interview. Such an amazing we'll performance when the team was winning, when the team was losing. Uh, and I think we really got the chance to see it today. Dude, but but I want to ask you first about the last map that we got the chance to see. It was a map of Ascend where you guys were running a little bit of a silly composition with the Gekka, with the Yoru, and you find some success early on. Then it got difficult, and now you go to the standard composition. Tell me the reason why you go to the standard comp again. Ah, uh, we thought... We thought that um, our Gekka comp was hard to play, honestly, when people had some um, footage on it, so we just swapped to uh, um, our default comp. But we do have four or five more comps in the bag for Sand. We just decided we would run default because it's probably enough to beat TSM. And, and it did yeah, prove yeah. that way, especially when we saw at the beginning of this a 7 0. You guys were looking you know, dominant at the beginning, and TSM. it was just a, a great showing for Sad. I want to ask you as well when you look at. Uh, the split that you just ended um how how do you feel about the team because it seems like every single time the team was making really great improvements and was looking better and better you only take like the, the two close. losses against turtle troop and m80 so how when you look back how, what do you think about the evolution that the team has had i think it's been good i think we had um our first team struggles as a five so um, during Daisy the split and we kind of got over it um I think Tim's improving pretty well. I think yes. by the time, um, you know, Ascension comes along, we'll, we'll be proper contenders for it. I watched that, actually. Yeah. I like that. I like that. It, it, it's something that a lot of people are, are, you know, putting the team as a dark horse. And, and every time you're you're starting to prove the, the reason why this whole team is so good. But I want to ask you, because I talked about the mechanics as well. You've been so good when the team is winning, when the team is he losing. Meant, no matter um, what, David you're Dennis, always there mechanically. And we've known you as a player that is very good mechanically from challengers so long back to game changers. And now I think we're seeing such a good form for you individually it, what is the the that individual training that you do to get to this level well i think in past back when i was with sonics um the oz team my my mechanics weren't that great honestly i felt like everything else was my strength but really all i did was i just put more time and focus on my mechanics i started aim training a lot more guy. pretty much every day and honestly that that was like my biggest weakness and now it's one of my right. strengths and I think I have a very like balanced skill set now. Wasn't this guy's alias it, DDA? Again, it really does show. I feel like you were always a, such an insane player, but now we're seeing those mechanics look better and better every time. So it's great to see. And now my last question for you, and it was about that last, uh, the second map actually, that, I, that the team loses. And it's uh, that breeze from TSM. <laughs> Uh, do you think the it was hard to adapt to the composition <laughs> that they were running, or do you think uh, like uh, you guys were just not prepared for what was going to be that map of Breeze? Uh, I think the composition was it was a bit difficult because um, they played it differently to other other teams played it um, mm -hmm. with the same composition, and I also thought we just lost a lot of like close rounds, and honestly, they were just playing their post really well, and it was hard for us to retake properly. And then it doesn't matter because you reset and you win that last map, so it's all good. I'm so happy to see you succeed, Bob. It's congratulations once again on the team taking this win and ending positive on the group, which is really important. So congrats again. And with that being said, we're going to close out this interview. We have, though, another match to go on today. One all last right. match between Core and Oxygen. Right? Can someone take a map off of OXG? I'm not even saying can they win. Can QOR get a map off of these guys today? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be real hard. 
Am I rooting for the underdog on this next one? I think so, yeah. I mean, dude. So, Oxygen lost the series to us. So, they're three and one, which means they've lost two maps. So, they've gone undefeated in all their remaining maps. They have a better round differential than us, even though we beat them. And they're fairly close to M80, even though, like I said, they lost the series. It's kind of crazy. They're like blowing people out. 13, 7, 13, 3. 13, 4, 13, 2. OT, 13, 8. I don't think QR can do it, chat. I don't think they can even get one. <laughs> T-Dog will need to drop 60. Do I think MXS winning was lucky? No, I think I actually think there's like a really good history between the teams. And there's a couple teams that can play Oxygen well. And M MXS is one of those teams. Like you can see, like historically, it almost always goes three maps. They definitely had the num our number in the head to head but like it's trending our direction right now actually but you know mxs has the the core has always played those guys really close they're so fucking they're so skilled like oxygen is so skilled <laughs> Redux Revenge Store. Yeah, I do love that for. Oh, uh, what's going wrong with TSM? Yeah, let's see. This series might be different. I, I can't remember this this series, truthfully. This is like, you just got to give them a pass. They were a new team. I thought they looked pretty good on the, the opening game. It's like kind of expected, right? You have to give them a pass there. So I don't think anything went wrong there. They played these games pretty close, if I remember correctly, right? Like this one too. Okay, no, I think Lotus was close. But they they look like they're getting better. This was this was a game they should have won. We did watch this. We watched this. Or maybe I was watching in chat or something. I was watching in chat. I took the day off, I think. They should have won this game. Bro, look at this. How the fuck did they lose this game? 1311 with this this is this is a failure right here this is the, like the first point where i think maybe i would have been critical of them and then again like they kind of just fell super flat in the second half like attack side of lotus that's kind of weird this is also their map pick it's like dude this pistol is bonus. Yeah. I don't know. They, they just have definitely had some flat looks. I don't think they've like lived up to the potential they could have. But they also have time, right? Like that's like the one thing that's good for them is they had already qualified for playoffs. So they have until May 15th now. It's like they might not have wanted much out of that series because sad might not get the buy right like that it could go to turtle turtle troop still let's see turtle oh honestly turtle troop could get the one seed if they beat m80 that's insane that's a fucking banger wow that's a fucking banger. It's on Thursday. It's 
hard to say exactly what the problem with TSM is. I think they just have some new team struggles right now. This last map, I felt like they were like head to head. They were doing fine with Sad throughout the series. Um, I'm trying to think back to this map right now. I do think Sad massively outplayed them on this map. But so I don't think their overall approach was that great here, probably on split. I loved their approach here on Breeze. I thought they had a really good approach here. They clearly were drilled and had good ideas on both halves. Ascent was like, again, like just half baked. I just felt like, I felt like they brought like a weird comp to Ascent and a team that has been a team for a long fucking time that has a lot of protocols down just just straight up beat them head to head. Like they just weren't they weren't deep enough to win this game today. Like Sad had a lot of a lot of good layers. Like the way they would fall back into the B site, like to the back of the site. I just think their timings on those things are really in tune. So it's probably not the second. Oh, Pickums. That's a good call. That's a good call, actually. I forgot we said we were going to do that. All right. Oh, God. They've been so painful so far. Last week, not so bad, though, I guess. Week before that, though? Holy fuck, man. All right. Definitely looking for a bounce back out of Sentinels. That's rough for MIBR, because I think they're better than what we think they are. But this is a very awful Welcome back, time everyone, to, to Valorant Challengers North America. We just got to see one match, and now it's time for the second match of the day. It is Yoink. week five. Sid. Yoink. Cloud9 versus Loud. Cloud9 looks pretty hot. Loud had a week off. I think that week off for Loud, especially losing their opening game like that. Again, this is a rough spot for Cloud9. This is just... You know, it's the same thing for MIBR. MIBR is just in a rough spot because they're going against a like, good team in a bad spot. So like the, the good team is going to like rise to the occasion. Like I have to side loud here thinking that they built off of all of those Phoenix breach comps. Those Phoenix breach comps were kind of getting picked apart by the end of um, Madrid. And then also, if you look at the NRG game, there's a lot of anti-strats in there because they didn't have time to change shit. I'm expecting some huge adjustments out loud for this game. And it's not going to be readable for Cloud9. And thus, I, I'm definitely signing loud. Uh, crew versus EG. My crew tanks are fucking maxed out, dude. 
I want to believe in EG, but I think there's so much work to do. Like, I see the potential. I see it in certain halves and certain maps when the game plan's hitting and, you know, they win the pistol and they get the momentum. Like, I see it. I see what they have. They're building at. But right now, I think Cruz is a better team. And I trust them in, like, a slow pace a slow paced game like every day of the week in this matchup so energy versus leviathan it's weird because i think this this could be like a letdown game for energy because you know like they're riding very high right now um but because leviathan beat sentinels I don't think NRG sleep on Leviathan. I think if Leviathan like got blown out by Sentinels, NRG might sleep on them here. But I think NRG come to play in this matchup. I think Leviathan can can fight with them a little bit here, but I'm citing NRG. I just think like across the board, the skill and energy is just greater. And that'll carry them through in this particular matchup. You know, like I'm not thinking like Ospos versus Demon 1. I'm thinking like deeper into the team. Like, I don't know. It's like Crashies versus Calm. Like, who's going to have more value? I don't know. Like, Utah wise, maybe Calm. Maybe. But Crashies always has big fucking plays whenever I watch him. Always. So, yeah. I just think those big plays are going to be on Energy's side in that matchup. Hmm. G2 versus Furia. That's a pretty tricky one. I'm not going to lie. Mm, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hard one. G2 looked pretty rough here. Furia have looked super bad all year, though. The players on Furia should not be this bad. And one of these matches, they're going to fucking own someone. <laughs> it could very well be this one. This is like primed to be that match. There's going to be continued pressure on Icy's shoulders. Mm. 